Today's video time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by the Bart Merrick. T- Why did you do that? Why did what? We We're taking it back to the old school. Everybody just, wants this. They the give them what let <laughs> be cake. What what voice is that? Even what are you it's trying like to do? Kind of like a backwoods man. <laughs> what, what, why? Are you, it hey, do Tom, it. I've been meaning to ask you about Bart Merrick and the Bart Merrick team. Mm-hmm. What can you afford, backwoods man? Yeah, get the I, hell out of here! <laughs> I, I just came in here to get that uh, that second pillow with Bart. It's got a picture of Bart and a picture of your wife on it, <laughs> and I just want to take that home. <laughs> I know what you want to do with the backwoods man. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, oh, yeah, you do. Right on my wife's face. With a dick in it. <laughs> uh, Bart Merrick team. Um, so. Was Butler laughing? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Butler. Uh, get the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> get the strap. Um, so, it's the Bart Merrick team, uh, Bart Merrick, Crystal Van. Uh, Bart actually texted me uh, that... Please the, don't put your dick in the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bart Merrick. He'll text me that later. But you got uh, a very deep voice. He said they uh, broke a record this year. Good Lord. Uh, over $13 million. Oh, my God. And uh, properties closed this year. Well, what do we do? And uh, 53 properties total uh, this year for the Bart Merrick team. And We didn't I, make I, any of that, and uh, we... We didn't uh, mm-hmm. do 53 podcasts. <laughs> All the crap. And what that shows you, and last year I think they did 50 or 51. Um, oh, he's growing. So, uh, but they have a lot of experience. They do. And that's where you're going to get with the Bart Merrick team. All jokes aside, they do an amazing job. Yeah. Bart and Crystal are an amazing team. And what you get when you go with them is you get uh, that firsthand service. You yeah. know, you're either going to get Bart or Crystal. You're going to be working with them, not some subsidiary of, of, you know, or some assistant that they work with. You're going to work with them. A hundred percent. And uh, Bart does the HDR photography himself, which makes your house look unbelievable on the MLS. You don't have to take our word for it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got uh, Kara on the line with us, uh, and she used the Bart Merrick team. How you doing, Kara? Hey, good. How are you guys? Good. So uh, did you buy or sell a house with Bart and Crystal? So we just bought a home with uh, Bart and Crystal. Okay. Uh, did you get your dream home? We did. It's amazing. We've been here about two weeks, and we're all settled in, and it's, it's been great. It's awesome. Oh, man, right before Christmas. That's awesome. How? Yeah, it's got the tree up and everything. So. Dig it. <laughs> How was your uh, uh, experience working with Barton Crystal? It was awesome. So we actually were first-time homebuyers, and we were living in Austin, Texas, but looking to move back to Orlando to be close to family. So it was a little complicated, um, and we were both totally new to the whole situation. But Barton Crystal were so helpful, um, you know, going out and checking out properties for us since we weren't here oh, and just wow. answering all of our questions. Um, so they really just made the process so simple and so easy. Um, I feel like we were both kind of waiting for the hard part. You know, like everyone talks about how sure. buying a house is so hard, but it wasn't. It was so easy, so straightforward, and we're uh, so happy with the house. And you were awesome. like a specialty case in the fact that you were uh, not even miles town. away. Yeah. And- <laughs> That's amazing, man. Well, I'm glad you're you're back here in town and closer to family, and I'm yeah. glad that it went so well for you. Yeah, and because yeah, because you use Barton Crystal, you get to come in and watch the show. So uh, just uh, shoot us an email. You got my number. I usually text uh, all the uh, clients of Barton Crystal. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, the, only the ladies <laughs> end up getting <laughs> no, I had to text weird. Everybody. It's no. weird how the guys like, yeah. that have been testimonials <laughs> have emailed me, but the ladies, you give them your number. So, so just uh, you slide into my DMs, Carol. Oh, my God. <laughs> and let oh me know when you want to uh, come in and watch the show. Hey, it's me, Backwoods Man again. <laughs> Get out of here, Backwoods Man. <laughs> oh, Get out of here. Oh, so don't oh, you I'm, fuck the pillows. I'm, I'm sorry, Kara. Uh, none of this should have happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, Look, they uh, wanted it. Uh, the the audience is like, uh, uh, fuck your pre-show <laughs> stuff. I want the real commercial, then the yeah, intro, yeah. punk rock. So if you want to come in, just uh, hit me up. You got my cell phone or email oh, us. God, and, stop uh, saying that. We'll, uh, we'll schedule in, okay? Awesome. Sounds good. Thank All you. Right. Cool. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thanks hey. for hey. using hey. Uh, okay. the Bart Merrick team. And I'll squeeze you in. Is that what you said? <laughs> if you want to uh, use I'll the Bart Merrick team, squeeze Bartman, you in my DMs. Go to BartTheRealtor.com. Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee! Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just right. Thanks. So 
number 553. Hey, hey! Old intro, same <laughs> fucking jokes. Same guys. Yeah, I like this old so intro. Got the good. I told you guys this was better. You got right. the little guy, you got the bigger guy, you got the girl, you got the bigger, bigger, bigger guy, you got the uh, crazy bigger guy, you got the bumbler. Yeah, all your favorite uh, all cast your favorites. of characters. Uh, now with... Uh, 40% more Tom Rhodes. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. It's a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer, is here. How you holding up, Sam? I'm good. How many books do you have in your house? No, not enough. <laughs> uh, Seth Petrozelli is on the blue mic. Hey, oh, Seth. Hello, because I'm us. There he is. Uh, let's go. Uh, Butler's here. Hey, Butler. Mm. Hello. He's going to do an uncomfortable toast later. All You're right. going to want to stick around for that. Ladies and gentlemen, Big friend of the show, and uh, we love him so much, and we Ubered him here, I feel like, right? Like, <laughs> no, no. Well, I, I have to say big friend of the show? Yeah. I, well, well I, I meant like he's... Uh, uh, Is he like Tom Rhodes is your friend? No, or? just stop. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> just stop it. Technically, I, I Ubered myself here because I Tom said he'd get me an Uber, which I... New meant he'd pay me back. Oh, okay. I think he that's forgot. easier. That's easier. I think he forgot where I live because he messaged me at eleven forty-five. No, there's too much going on. Hey, what's your address? No, no, there's too much going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. We were way <laughs> in the weeds earlier. We we're uh, getting uh, just lambasted and and getting into trouble for something that is our fault. We got into mm-hmm. like full on in trouble. Uh, with a guest, and we've never had that happen. And I, I feel really bad. Tom feels really bad. I actually feel good that we're uh, we're dipping our toe into the Friday Free Show. Uh, ah. I gotta wash off some of this uh, this misunderstanding, well, some of this guilt. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'll, I'll explain what happened. Uh, and then there's nothing again. We're the ones that fucked up, but we no, had an odd encounter. I, I, I want to make sure that but, is a hundred percent clear so, that that I, I, I'm. Am I prefacing? Yes, I'm one hundred percent prefacing that this is our fault, yeah, me well, and you. It's not that big. Of I a blame deal, you. A little bit more. Uh, so um, uh, I remember this happening last. Uh, I guess it was February. Uh, Tom, well, we were reminded about me. it a lot. So. But um, definitely it was definitely February. So uh, he uh, okay. First to start. Now it seems like this is a bullshit excuse, but uh, if you are a listener of ours, you know this is one hundred percent true. I think we had we bit- talked about this on an ACT or uh, BDM show. So, Somebody EJ might have to get on this. So last December we gave. Tom um, because he was like wanted to promote this album, and then we we're like, oh yeah, just give us a call, we'll help you promote it. And I'm like, of course, like if anybody listens to the show or all you guys know that have it's Samantha, I'll, I'll ask. Well, you. Linnell, have she we, called in like what? Yeah. Three, well, three months yeah. ago or something. Have, and, and have you ever heard us tell, or even behind the scenes, be like, "We're not going to help this guy promote anything." We, 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 anybody come to it, like uh, local I people, know people one, help me promote. But I'm not going to say it. How dare you? Um, uh, but I don't there, need any promotion. If there I don't was, even know yeah. what you're talking. As a trade out, you, you for me. <laughs> how dare you? I promote well, we your still damn money. The only reason I'm here is to get promotion for my job. <laughs> we still owe Which you is money. Not good promotion anyway. How dare you? Uh, anyway, so then it's we... like advertising uh, pussy to gay people, right? <laughs> like, uh, like advertising a gym oh, to I have, actually, is... a lot of BDMs at the gym. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, like, well, lot, girls, I mean, gay girls, lot, I should I mean, say. I should two. preface that. <laughs> Maybe I don't know three. a lot about it. Uh, so... Uh, anyway, we give him a business card with the wrong goddamn emails. Oh, like our, shit. our emails are were, no. This is what happened. So our, our uh, branding agencies, the Danger Brains, they gave us a comp of the card. We didn't proofread it. That's just facts. I mean, like yeah. proofreading is something that we just started doing. Yeah. And I, I'm being serious. You guys are looking at me like, oh, good joke, Dan. No, uh, no, I, I know. Uh, proof, <laughs> proofreading is something we just started doing in like 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So right we're uh, bad with that. And, and, and just so you guys know, so we're not like telling you anything. That, that is a lie or a fabrication, we send everything that needs to be proofed to my wife, who happens to have worked as a proofer for uh, news stations, for PR firms, and stuff like that. It's what she does. So we pass anything that Tony puts out. Uh, for the most part, it's been passed in front of her. Unless there are mistakes, then he probably didn't give it to her. So anyway, I do that all we the time. did have old email addresses at uh, a mediocre time instead of at tomanddan.com. And so anyway, that it was a, a stu- stupid typo, and uh, we gave him the business. So we he tried to email us and then did obviously he got well they got back. bounced he said so they got, he, the emails got so bounced then he calls, but around February and uh, I, I mean your birthday's in February well you know what I also were you in Colorado or was that January well I I'm not 
not even going to make excuses. I don't remember. See, I think. No, no well, here's, I'm not even going to make an excuse. I got a message from Ty. He called my phone, and but the beginning of the phone call, di- it didn't. It broke up, so I didn't know who it was. The only reason that I knew that he had tried to contact us is because you had gotten a phone call as well. So I put two and two together. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, this that's but Tom Rhodes calling. Me. I got the voicemail way later, and it was a time. And I feel like uh, I don't know I'm justifying anything. I, I, we did. We forgot to return a phone call. Not that big of a deal, but uh, he was mad, mad about it. But so the uh, I think people forget, and I, this has happened recently a couple times, and I want to talk about it because uh, there's this perception of us now that is weird that we're like. Oh, you guys are super successful. You guys are uh, the big dogs. Uh, you guys. I do are not look at the, it like that. No, I mean, I'm like, what are no, you? Like, I mean, I wish I felt like small, a fucking big dog. A small business. We don't look at it like that either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't it does. Does. Nobody <laughs> should. But but it's like we are no different than any small business, any mom and pop pizza restaurant. We're, we're fucking struggling. Yeah. To, I mean, because you have. We're to definitely sh- uh, fr- now. It is the illusion. I say though, the right? same thing about my gym too. I'm no. struggling. I, uh, <laughs> I need you guys to pay. Membership. No, 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 but it's the illusion, right? Because he yeah. he kept mentioning things in the studio, and but it's like, yeah, because uh, you guys did this so that when comedians come over, it doesn't look like you're just in somebody's fucking apartment. Yeah, but right? we, we were in mean, debt. I mean, this a lot of the but, these sound. I think we paid for some of this stuff with now, our own money. Now here's know, the like thing, savings. I, I'm and not, shit. and I'm by I'm by no means am I saying, oh, poor us, we're struggling, and it, you're but, not poor, but you're not going against the wall when the revolution comes. <laughs> in, all right, no, like I, not, I, I, I'm not saying we're I struggling will. in the in the sense that our business is. Failing, I'm saying we're like every small business. We struggle every day to continue this business, and it takes an insane amount of hard work from everybody. Right. And, uh, and never not working. Yeah, yeah. We're always <laughs> because if because it, it all rests on the shoulders of everybody here. And it's if, the if we fuck it up, it will fo- It will fail. It like is. it can, no problem. Like we, we don't have a backing of a, a billion dollar company. We don't have the backing of anybody. Like the money we have in our business account is That's it. it. Like we, yeah. we it's one hundred percent the reason we, I switched we my medication this week. We you know what have, I mean? Like, it is 100% the reason why. We don't have angel investors that come in like, oh, we can afford to fuck off, uh, you know, and like, oh, if we don't, uh, you know, like, there's a the situation where, like, if we lost a, a certain amount of sponsors and a certain amount of BDMs, like, we would have to let people go. We would have to downsize oh, the company. Wow. Like, wow. fire me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you'd be first to go. No, God damn it. You would. But I'll, I'll, I'll show for free anyway. But that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have played my cards. Never play your cards. <laughs> Never but, play your cards. But, but that's that's any business. Like I mean, it can fail. Like we we don't sit around and so. just like say that this will go on forever, no matter how much work we put into it. Me and Daniel fucking think about it every single minute of the day. It is our lives we put into it anyway. Blah blah. blah. And so that causes us to be super busy. We forgot to return uh, Tom Rohn's call. You know, Mind you, you re- I work for Tom and Dan, and they don't. Return half my fucking yeah, yeah. No, no, calls, so. you forgot to return two phone at best, mm. at worst, two phone calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. two correct, and emails that he knew got bounced. Correct. I have not seen this interview yet, but I'm already tired of the motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Call again. No, no. Call again. That's what I said. Or text no. and be like, hey, I called Call you. Again. Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. This is I, Tom. You know. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, two or three calls, then you can. Say. I, yeah. yeah. I didn't what? think left it, one one voicemail on each of their phones. That's it. So and also I have mine broke up. I just I want to be on the record. <laughs> like, so he's less bad than and Tom. I, I kept it for a long time. No, I'm not less. Bad, you listen to it every it, day and never called him back. Every morning I start my day by listening to the voice message. Alarm. And I'm like, yeah. who is this? So One I never day I will get to the bottom of it. When I Today jumped out all the time, I never got return calls. <laughs> well, well, ask me questions. I'm busy. So let, let's get back on, on yeah, track. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just want to, because, okay. like, cause, you know, like, we've been doing this for 10 years. This is our 10th year. Um, we've never had a guest, you know, to my knowledge, that's been in here where we've where anybody's ever been on tilt. The only one, the only one that I can even point to would have been with Ross and Mitch Fattel. Totally understand it. Mitch was using some language. It's just not something that we would say around here. Uh, R- Ross uh, uh, gave him uh, gave him the what for, rightfully. and rightfully so. And 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 moving on. You know what I mean? But that's really and that wasn't even like I don't even think that big of a uh, of a. I wouldn't say it ruined the interview or anything like that. It was just you know it was a thing. This though. In the 10 years that we've been doing this, we've never had an interview where I I honestly felt like, oh, man, this is just not... 
This just isn't going well. And no matter what I'm trying to do, I cannot fix it. And and that feeling, that feeling of not being able to fix it is uh, both saddening, but also there's a strange part of me that it almost makes you feel alive a little bit because you're like, this is fucking real. (laughs) Ah. And we don't do a lot of real. We don't have a lot of drama on this program. I think the problem is the way he handled it when he got in here. Um, instead of like just telling you how he felt, and we being, did. Like, and, well, no, no, no. But instead of telling you in a nice way, he was like chastising you like you were children, well, and that that already sets a tone. You know what I mean? He, I now guess to, I can his, see that. To his like defense, condescending, or was he just like just? Acting? Yeah, kind of like you guys should have known better. You you made me feel. Well, like Well, it was and, more of a disappointment yeah, feeling. But it was like a dad talking to yeah, his kids. It was like a dad kind of a, a vibe. I I I know that when he did say that, I was disappointed in myself for not calling him back. I mean, I see his. Point one million percent. I get it. I get it. One hundred percent. To his defense, he a said, million percent he's like, and one hundred percent. I didn't be on the record. I didn't want to talk about it. I did, You know, uh, that's why I I talked to you about it before the show. But the problem is, it was right before the show. He was like yeah. really angry about it. Then he comes sits down, and we we were like, all right, yeah, start. Now, right. And then I'm like, that's well, what I'm saying. I can't tone, and now you can't just flip a switch. I guess I'm like, hey, I was like, I was like, I had to mention you guys it. don't do the fake shit. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Accusing you. No, I and and, and again, You're but but I want and. We told him this, and I would want him to know this. We also aren't the type of guys that we would ever um, bring him in here and use that. And I think he maybe thought that, and that that kind of makes me sad. It makes me sad for him to think that. Oh, he's probably that, thinking it now, like, oh, these guys are uh, shitting on me. I'm not a hundred percent. No, no, but using it as show fodder, like using it like yeah. like we didn't have anything to talk about, which but, is not true. Like, I, it's just we talk about the things that come up in our like I, the show has always been about our lives. There are people that say I don't like the show anymore because you guys have kids. Okay, I get it. It's probably not for you anymore because we've changed and you're not. Mm-hmm. So like, you should go where you know you want to listen. But I. Yeah, honestly, at, it was bad. To, oh, it was bad. Bad. Well, you can go listen. <laughs> to it, it was bad. The chat room was uh, was popping off. What'd you say? So I wanted to go get some gasoline. Yeah, uh-huh. so I was gonna go run and well, get some. Gasoline. I, oh yeah, that's I, what you always do when the shit hits the fan. <laughs> I, I didn't. Uh, uh, There's another thing that uh, that uh, struck me as uh, confusing too is that I didn't realize that Tom Rhodes considers even friends like uh, like he was like well, oh, us, I, us friends. Yeah. yeah, I was like the only relationship I ever had with him is coming in for the interview for the right. improv. And then he leaves. I was like, I don't even I've think never we're friends. I think right. we're friends. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what is his definition of a friend? Because I'll, I'll take over your Facebook when you die. That's it's, literally, awesome. it's literally the only interactions you've ever had with him are interviews. That's it. Yeah. You don't hang out well, with let him me, on his Let me off ask you. Time okay, or? let me ask so, some of our listeners that we have, like sitting. You know, I've got this this couple here. We've known they had season tickets behind us when we had Orlando uh, City season tickets. Uh, I've seen you guys probably. I'm just trying to be real. Let's say 25 times. All right. Do you consider me a friend? This is a trick question, sir. He will uh, he will be kicked out if you say no. <laughs> but like honestly, real, like, like consult with like, your wife. But if you, yeah, acquaintance, yeah, I th- I think. But we know each other. But I like, I, and hopefully, I don't hurt your feelings by saying this. But I don't consider you guys my friends. No, right. so that's we're up. friendly, right? And that's what I was saying. Really you can be friendly. Up. We're acquaintances. Being I know who you are, and you know, and you know who I am. But like, and maybe we, maybe we just read it wrong, man. Like, I hate it when we get shit wrong, and I try my hardest to. Like, that's why the fucking intro was so important to me. Like, I hate it when I get shit wrong, but when, but I'm always open to to learning, to apologizing, to fixing, to making. Like, if you can't do it. that, then fuck off. Mm-hmm. You got to be able yeah. to change and alter and 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 make things right. Mm-hmm. And we tried, but I don't think he was. Well, buying it. being friends, uh, again, you guys are putting a little too much importance on the word friend, like mm. uh, like y'all are my friend, you don't really know you were friends, because we're friendly and all, but you're not my close friend, so if I miss one phone call from you, I'm not gonna freak the fuck out. Uh, I don't know. Mm. No, I'm friends no. with Daniel, but not friends with Tom. I, well, I go to your birthday. Tom, Tom, it's birth- it's birth- birth- my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. My I go to your birthday. I talk no to your girlfriend. I see your friends. Yeah, I meet yeah. them. I meet the crazy they're, Russian. They're, yeah. I talk to Jujitsu. Uh, see, I put, Tasmanian Devil uh, man. Yeah. I always put it on myself because I killing machine. I do have. I I go through life a lot of times like uh, a, a horse with blinders on. No, like a robot <laughs> trying to understand. <laughs> humans uh like their emotion and how they yeah. think and what they what they what means something to them what they care about like i it's hard for me to grasp a lot of things like that yeah. you know like for whatever reason damage so whatever. emotionally detached yeah, they am, yeah. emotionally detached uh, like i used to think it was some you sort of asperger's in but, uh, face when uh, tom rhodes was talking about he was a friend tom was just blank he was like i don't <laughs> even know what that <laughs> means i don't know what a friend is <laughs> I, 
I'm, he no. was so astounded it's, that it's someone called him his friend. And then he was so are. mad that he didn't get a call back. And, yeah, yeah. And, and so uh, then I often feel like, oh, shit, I read this completely wrong. I, you know, But it, there's another thing that was confused me. I didn't know that people uh, put so much importance into, like, for instance, Big Tim, you do a lot of comedy shows around yeah. town. When if, if you invite me and I'm like, oh, I'll try to see if I can go and I don't show up, uh, do you take it as an attack? I, no, I, you're I, busy. Fucking do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, uh, yeah, know, I, I feel the same way. Like if I invite anybody, uh, in fact, I- I- even more if they're uh, like a celebrity or like an uh, important person, yeah. I immediately like, go, "Why would they come to come see anything I do? They're fucking busy. They're important. They're better than I now, am. Now, I look at everybody better I will than give I am." You this if it's like, "Hey, Tom." It'd be really important to me if you came to this thing. Mm. This is an th- important thing I'm doing. If I have text you, I was like, hey. Yeah. But also, if you're my... I'd be like, can it, I I've just give that. you $20? <laughs> yeah. But also... <laughs> you, well, you, you didn't might. even try that. Yeah. You didn't but, even try to give Tom Rhodes $20. I did not even remember. I was like, I'll sign up to your Patreon, which I'll probably forget to do. <laughs> but my, uh, yeah, you will. <laughs> my, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fuck him over again. My yeah. 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 You need to do that. You need to do that. You need to do it today. Here's the thing. If you're actually my close friend or you're my friend like that, I'm going to forgive you for one missed phone call because life's incredibly hard mm-hmm. and the world's on fucking fire, right. asshole. Yeah. Like, everything is terrible mm-hmm. and you're only gonna call once and be so fucking upset about it? Uh, Fuck him! No, 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 no. no, no. And because, Sorry, I'm, I had the one white call. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. No, it's in, and this is what I didn't even... Like I told him, he he, he said at the end, he's like, I hope hopefully I didn't beat you guys up too much. And I said, no, man, there's no such thing as that. Like, I'm a big believer in if your feelings are your feelings. Yeah. If you, you know, I say this to my wife when we get into it and you can probably probably imagine that arguing with me is probably not that easy. Fuck no, it's not. <laughs> I'm pretty decent at it, and uh, and uh, and 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 I I, I I play by a completely set of uh, really dirty ass fucking rules, <laughs> and I'll do anything to win the argument. But I tell her, I was like, if you're laying it laying into me and you're really going for it, I can't tell you how to feel. That's your job, you know. Your feelings are real, you know. And if you're really that upset, then I, I have to uh, acknowledge that. You the, know, the problem I is, think it's, I think it's my duty to. When someone's feelings are so irrational. Dude. It's hard for me to take him seriously. Like, uh, if, like if someone's like, uh, if like if your Butler came to me one phone call, and he's like, "Hey, uh, all these uh, stony baloney jokes, um, you know, they've gone too far." And uh, they're <laughs> like, yeah, I will. Uh, I uh, hate you yeah, because of it. Know. I, you know, you're, it's almost like you're reading out of his diary. I, I'm just like, ah, you're fucking I'll just stop doing that. I'll discount it because it seems ridiculous to me. I shouldn't do that uh, again. Robot trying to understand humans' feelings. Uh, <laughs> um, but when because but I will if you, if like if there's if they're authentic and rational I'll be like okay but if they're irrational I'll it's hard for me to then uh, like feel bad you yeah. know what I'm saying well, because it's, not, it seems irrational you know I don't want this to consume the entire show I mean, if you want to hear us at our absolute worst uh, and I know some <laughs> of you might uh, like to hear that kind it's of cringe awkward. uh, mm-hmm. awkwardness the the interview is actually I think it's up now yeah, if you uh, yeah. I really like Tom too. And I like sitting uh, down and having a good watch, conversation. You can go back and rewatch it on Twitch. I if you want. don't <laughs> believe that we. I'm just gonna. If I'm a betting I man, him on a bad day. If, too, I, if I'm on a. If I'm a betting man, I'm gonna say we're gonna have to to work pretty hard to to repair the relationship. But you know what? That's what you do, right? You fuck up, and then all you can do is is do your best to repair the relationship and make it something good. By work you hard, do you friends. mean not do anything? You that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. It's not in my fault. Like, I know what I'm going to do. Like, if you think I'm going to... Did like, you guys, do the did same you thing you did in February. Did not you guys, a goddamn thing. I mean, when I leave here, it'll just be another story. <laughs> I tell my wife on the drive down to Miami, then I'll literally forget about well, it. Well, but see, the but difference it's not between bad, you and I... Here's the difference between you and I. I. I texted my wife when we were over at Publix grabbing food. I said, you know, oh, my God, we just had the worst. Because I want to be real about it. I said, we just had, man, it must be, we, it, we've never had this. We've never had this happen. Like, our track record with comedians was uh, I, uh, sitting at, like, as close to 100% as humanly possible. Yeah, yeah as far as them and not And now it's a us, fucking hey. 99, and mm-hmm. it sucks. And I told her, I go, oh, man, we, it just went bad because we didn't call him back, and we fucked up. Did, and did she, you guys give him the updated email contact info, what you should have done? We didn't, I just actually. the wrong one again. <laughs> <laughs> And you should have given another personal number. Like, look, this is my other self, and I, I always answer this and have some fucked up numbers. No, no, I don't. I don't do stuff like that. But my wife said, just to show you the difference, Andrea's like, don't let it consume you. Go be funny, but like, because it will. Stuff like that does bother me. You know, if yeah, yeah. I felt like I, re- I hate 
fucking dropping the ball. It's why the intro thing was so important to me. So why I put a poll up there for BDMs to, to and everybody's like uh, unanimously, except for like maybe sixty people said, nah, nah, take it back to the way we like the excitement, the punk rock. We like it the way, just the way you've always been doing. Okay, yeah, fine, that's uh, great. A few people want but more that stuff. stuff really fucking means a lot <laughs> yeah. to me, you know. Well, yeah, because the this business does, and the, again, it, uh, we uh, are insanely busy at all times, and uh, we try to fit everything in. Things slip through the cracks. We've you know again, and we're not doing it on purpose. Anyway. A one missed phone call. Yeah, you're right. To the dad of two kids under six. The dad of one kid under six. Oh, he was mad that we never and went to his shows. Yes. And I'm and like, the shows are shows. always in, in December, right before Christmas. And like, I got kids. I you can't don't go make to the it. show. It, it's on I Drive. Like, I love the improv, but it's yeah. on I Drive. Yeah. There's so many shows. If you had to go to every, you go to one comedian show, you're going to have to go to all of them. And if you go to Tom Rhodes' show, but you didn't go to my Big Tim and Friends a while back mm-hmm. that was sparsely attended, mm-hmm. I'm going to be real hurt. Shit, we're just, everything, every move we make, we're just pissing yeah. other people off. I'm going to be there, I'm gonna be there uh, July 12th with a uh, chick from New York, and if you guys don't come, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to be back in July. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, I'm yeah. kill he myself. is coming back in July. Oh, I have to January. I'm going there January oh, okay, 12th, okay. so it's like three weeks from I'll now. I'll be pissed at all the nights I go out, and you don't come with me. Again, Tom, I ran that open mic for a year and a half down the street here. You never once Came. I don't go on anything. <laughs> it took I'm, me two years to get him on my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him every day. Yeah, yeah. And, and don't even look at me. I mean, I, I know nobody's saying a word about me because they, they're, they're like, that motherfucker's in bed at 7 o'clock. Yeah, I, I am. They, I, 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 yeah. I will tell you, though, so on the way over here, I, I took an Uber that I ordered myself because mm. you said you'd get me an Uber. Yeah. And I kind of knew you meant... You just wait a minute. You, back. you did the Big Tim. What you did. you're oh, just you're lying to everyone. No, no, no. He, no, he said I you tell people. He won't pay you back. He won't pay you back. I did it, and I I took that as the context of he's going to get me an Uber as he's going to like uh, uh, people in my neighborhood would say I got you, I'll get you. You going to pay me back because I knew you weren't going to order one because I think you forgot I live in Deland. Mm, uh, no, I, I, I remember that when people are like, "You're going to Uber from Deland? That shit's going to be I like eighty that. bucks." I told I you that. that it was seventy six like, bucks. Yeah. I'm like, what? Oh my god! But Dude. I'm like, don't answer the phone when he calls. <laughs> <laughs> Forget he ever existed. That's right. You giving him free plugs on the radio. You did. You did. No, no, I just paid back. Uh, he did. Uh, he did message me at eleven forty five. Like, what's your address? <laughs> and I was like, I'm already on the way. Mm. But on the way over here. I uh, I was. I He's like Tom Rhodes lives in Delay. Yeah, <laughs> this is weird. I, well, I saw I saw a screenshot. I, so I, I left my headphones in the back of the the host of the show I was on last night's yeah. car. He picked me up in a Chevy Spark, mm-hmm. and I just really want to read this book about you, how the fuck did you get in a Chevy? Spark? I sat in the back seat and we pushed the front seat all the way up. And Shaquille I, O'Neal style. It, all right, I had to ice my knees oh. when I got home. No. but uh, it was a very small car, P- police academy style, where it rips the front seat. <laughs> yeah. the very much the best. But so I, I ordered this thing and it's a, it's yeah. a Ford Fiesta uh, <laughs> with this uh, old white woman. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a long fucking ride. And I get in, she's got no music playing. Oh, sorry for that burp. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man, that smells like cancer. <laughs> but I, she, she had cancer twice. Breast cancer oh, twice. Oh. Hey, don't <laughs> breathe it in. <laughs> blow that shit out. You got it. Yeah, you're supposed to <laughs> blow that shit out. I, I, I get in and she's got no sound, no music playing. I'm like, ah, oh, this uh. is gonna be a long fucking ride. And she starts telling me this real sad story about how she used to sell cars. Was she's like, what do you what do you do? Uh, you sell garage door. You, you work on garage doors. And I was like. Yeah, for a day job, but we're going to the studio thing for a comedy thing. And mm. uh, she's like, "Oh, you're comedian. I know this one comedian." But then she starts to proceed to tell me that she lives in an RV now uh, behind someone's house because she lost her house. She had breast cancer. She had a mastectomy 18 years ago. And I'm thinking, "Oh, this is gonna be real sad, oh, right?" Wow. This is all in the first five minutes of this ride. Uh-huh. We hit I four. Before we hit I four, she asked me if I smoked, and I knew she meant cigarettes because it's sell- it smelled like fucking my childhood, yeah, like yeah. stale cigarettes yeah, in this yeah. fucking Ford mm-hmm. Fiesta. And I go. uh no, but I don't care if you do. And she's like, oh, thank you, Lord, and whatever. And she starts praising Jesus again about me letting her smoke. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, you smoke pot? And I was like, occasionally? And she goes, you want to smoke pot now? And I said, you could have fucked this lady. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, she reminded me what I should have had for mom because she was fun. and like, yeah. <laughs> she, But yeah, hey, I, got, I, I got watch a, porno. You can so fuck your mom. Lit she up a toy? Left no, <laughs> we fucking smoked a bowl in the back of the Uber. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You owe us. <laughs> See that? Take, ten, that. take $10 off. Fuck, $60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, that. You guys are rich. Uh, two hits, $5. So uh, you all sat in the back of the cab like fake taxi? Oh, I like fake taxi. Although, you know what's funny about fake taxi? If I can pontificate for a second. 
Mm-hmm. Is that he always just starts like it's his fair, right? And mm-hmm. then he pulls over and then he just starts eating them out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, that's aggressive, bro. Like who goes right for like pull your pants down and start <laughs> munching uh, your <laughs> like it's, it's way aggressive. <laughs> like there's no talking, there's no nothing. It's literally like uh, drop trial going for it. Also, where are you in the woods somewhere? They're in the like, woods, yeah. <laughs> How many woods are there in London? London a lot. <laughs> it's hard to find. Yeah, the old Sher- London Sher- 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 woods. Sher- yeah. Sherwood Forest. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> literally, yeah. London like ran out of trees when the Industrial Revolution happened. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how are you uh, openly fucking in a cab? <laughs> like, you got that <laughs> cancer grade <laughs> weed, too. It's a Daytime. lorry, right? A lorry? A lorry. A lorry. Mm. It's a lorry. I was eating your pussy in a lorry. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, was. But um, uh, yeah, she has a real absurd, sad life like me, but she was real fun about it, so it was cool. You could drive a lift. I tried, but they got rejected because my driver's license lapsed for a week oh. a while back, and uh, I didn't we'll know it. it. Right before the cruise, actually, this uh, yeah, and it doesn't matter. Actually, it does. Let's not talk about that. No, okay. All right, so, moving on. That's so uh, easy, Tom Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Did he ask y'all about how many books you owned? Yeah. Well, no. no I mean, but we know he, he, has, a, he, he has, has a lot of books. He Everything was, was great. You need to have I, books in your house, look, and nobody I, should all, fuck you. All I'm doing oh my God. now. No, he said that was a quote from someone. Uh, I, five all I, let's buy it. Though. I got a lot of comic books. He said he has four thousand books. All I'm gonna do is try to repair the relationship. I'm dedicated to it. I'm gonna do that. It's the easiest thing to do. do I have a ton of books I've never read either. (laughs) I will uh, just go on with my life. (laughs) Like when everything happens and then uh, just take solace and none of this matters in the future. Because we'll all be dead. uh, We're going to be dead way faster than you think, friend. I I, I tried to mention that. I don't know that. (laughs) Don't say it when I were laughing about that. I uh, I tried to add some jokes. I don't know. I usually lose an interview. No joke, Fred. You want to hear how it's awkward and impossible? Oh, it's us at our worst. Uh, I'll probably never go back. It'll be the only... I spot check everything we do for fucking... I'm going to put this in the next best of For quality. (laughs) But I will probably never go back and revisit that one. The the funny thing is, I told Daniel yesterday, I was like, you think he remembers that time we did Return of the But I told you, I guaranteed he did, because he's smart. He has a great memory. And I'm like, ah, we'll probably all laugh it off, because I'll say our business card had the wrong uh, email. Didn't go like that. Didn't go. Oh, like no, you know, no. nothing Nothing <laughs> makes me more sad but more alive, and it's weird, than when it's just, it's something out of our control. We did our best, but hey, it was real. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, oh, was, yeah. it was authentic. I mean, you're going to hear that. But. But, but sometimes when you pierce that veil, that veil of uh, yeah. uh, the, the, the mm. shroud that makes all this reality feel a little nicer, it really fucks with your head. It does. Mm. And then you got to take a Friday off, and it just happened to work out that Tom last minute asked me to be on the show. Yeah. Mm. Right on. Yeah, we'll have yeah. some fun today, and I'm, we're, well, we're not going to sit here and talk about this bullshit. Shit all day long. Anyway, I'll I'll leave it. At, I'll leave it here. I got her phone number. I'm gonna have her drive me to the dog park. That oh, old I woman. Bet you are. Oh, I might. Well, she I, look. I like old. How old? How old? How old? <laughs> she was like, I think she's turning sixty. Soon. That's all right. Listen, I like I like sixty year old women again, like to be squished too. Friend, I'm a big fan of the you know settled bodies. And I want to see how that movie turned out. You know, like. Yeah, yeah. I like I like older, but 60. she was too close to. I can't fine. comprehend that in my fucking mind. Oh. <laughs> That's because you're a perv. three what? times too old for something. <laughs> yeah. You're what a fucking degenerate. You don't think what? you don't? There's not like a. Like, it's almost like a. I think it's the opposite. I think you're, you're degenerate <laughs> if you go too too low. You're degenerate if you go too high. Like I don't uh, want. Well, that's what I'm kind of roundabout getting. Like it's, it's too much. That's why we say me and you need to meet in the middle. Maybe we a do. 30, Thirty-five year old be perfect. Oh, you, don't, you don't get the. I like in forties or so. I want to try it all. Like I know you're perfect. Like if a really, <laughs> really, like really old woman wants to sleep with yeah. me and I were single, I think I would take take her up on it because oh, yeah, yeah. at that point see. it's almost like I'm trying different, ex- I'm doing different experiences. I mean, like why may- not? Maybe it feels better. No, you know, it like not. I can too. <laughs> no, you've never well, tried it, it, so you can't make that statement. You, it, just, just, Science. No. <laughs> what, what science? You don't science. know. The science is still wet, okay. friend. Oh, 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 that's what that's just it. Is it? I don't statistically well, there's, probably there's, it's not. And there's ways around that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks well, to modern wanna, science, I don't friend. To go, I don't want to have to go and squirt lube everywhere. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Spit all over. <laughs> you, you know, if old people don't use lube. <laughs> you're you not know, a bigger pervert as I thought if you're against lube, period. Or not. Well, I it. never had to use lube. <laughs> well, well, sometimes you get... 22-year-old girls on the sometimes. It's like a waterfall. Well, you're just trying to be nice when like a slimy that. waterfall. You tell me, slimy? She needs to go to the doctor. Well, uh, it's not yeah. exactly water. You tell me you fucking no lube anal? You just go no, straight anal? What are you talking about? That? Damn. You he eats it first. He's he he getting wild. He I thought he was a pervert. You ain't gonna, I mean. Let's talk about this. Yeah, I'm going to ask everybody politely to spice down about 20%. All right. All right. All right. Okay. You know how uh, people talk about like call. older women that have more experience? <laughs> yes. And then the experience makes the difference? Yeah. But how much, like, how much, like, how they're going to teach you something new? Yeah, how 
don't know. Good. They might. Like, experience. Well, might. You're right. What are they going to do different than, like, a 25-year-old girl? A, t- a toothless blowjob might be good. <laughs> In my experience, it's more of, a, I'm a particular fan of a comfortable woman and a woman that's confident in what she's doing. Okay. And sometimes 25-year-olds aren't quite confident in that, but by the time she's turned 40 or so, she's pretty sure it's going to look that way forever, and she's you, just going to deal with it, you know, know what I mean? So Usually it's the opposite. 25-year-olds think they're like the shit, and they're like all that. Well, and you then you the- like beat them down, and when they're older, they're like, oh, God, we're old. They have, like, <laughs> better looking well, Seth, I'll ask we're you. really digging into your mind today. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have entirely different approaches to women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, bro. So, Seth, you uh, just had a uh, birthday recently, and you've been... Oh, ha- oh I thought we weren't oh. going to talk about that. Either. Having sex for how long? Since since you were uh, 16? I lost my virginity at 16, yeah. Okay, so do you feel Junior like year. right now you are exponentially better than, like, let's say, 25? Like, do you think... Uh, oh, I know I, mean, I am. I mean, do you think yeah. it's... Great ex- analogy, Tom. It's double, or do you think it's just a click higher? Because that's like, what I'm I know, thinking. I know I'm light years better than I was at 25. But depends, what are you doing? It, well, well, depends well, on I, the, I, I know have, about motion in the ocean. I'd, I'd, have to show you. Show. I'd have to show you, mm. but there are things that I can do with my Mouth, it, uh, yeah, the mouth thing is more than the actual sex. Oh yeah, well yeah, I mean, the dick's dick, more. That, you still, you, have, you got talented. the same dick you had. The dick doesn't change, but I, you I, learned yeah. new things with your hands, yeah. your mouth, new ways to. Uh, well, what even you just learn? saying things, Fingers. even like back rubs <laughs> and like. Let's what are you do do, Sex ed class. What are you doing man. with your mouth? The Whoa. biggest <laughs> one. Is, <laughs> what am I not? No, what are you doing with your mouth? I don't know what I'm doing. The biggest one is. What are you doing? Tell me. Open and honest communication is the biggest one, but you don't ever finish anybody's thought. Yes. See, like how long have you? Because you know, like, well, I'll, I'm going to tell you, and then you're going to get uncomfortable. With what they're doing, it, it's different person to person. There are some people yeah. that I knew that would like me to use my mouth and fingers at the same time. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, where I'm at now, let's just say where I've landed, it's mouth only. And uh, because she's not a goddamn Bulgarian, <laughs> and uh, and yeah. it's go right for the. Let's just I'll put it this way: it's a uh, trident. Mm. You've got four downs, and let's try to go long on the first down. And uh, I'm going to be in the end zone, Jerry Rice. Uh, no one's covering me, and go right well, for it and get it done I'm, rapid fire. I'm, and then I see the back arch, and I. Well, I'm glad you brought that. And up. I know I won because using a, then it's my turn. Using a sports analogy, everybody knows that. This, how do you not know this? Well, I feel like as I'm getting older. I'm actually getting worse oh, because yeah. I'm getting oh. more lazy. It's because you're getting lazy and come yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, be- spice it up. When I was young, like it's, 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 you brought up sports. You're gonna fuck what? around and cuck him for like, sure, aren't you? Like uh, <laughs> that's exactly what's going through my He's head. He's been working on that for years. Uh, Seth has been working for I think close to like eight <laughs> years to fuck your wife. Oh, it's, uh, uh, if you he look, says yes, I'm. <laughs> oh, shit! You, you, you know wife. she's not a uh, she's not a teen, right? Doesn't, doesn't matter. But doesn't matter. I, I always thought she was beautiful. Well, she does. She does have a vibe too. What's happening here? She got that confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> goddamn, mom. <laughs> fucking, uh. uh Ashton like, Kutcher coming show? Damn, you punking me right now? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, Tom Rose gonna come in with a birthday cake? <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm just fucking cake. with you. Who would get that mad over one missed phone call? <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, I do, like, I do like the this idea guy. of, like, I like the idea. And then my wife comes in, like, I fucked Seth last night. I'm like, what? That's part of it? I like the happening. I like the idea of Seth, like, uh, Sitting there, like uh, waiting, like he's at, he has me to work the uh, the camera, you know, because he wants. Why is it one of these cameras? It's a shoulder mounted. Oh, yeah, because well, you, 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 you want HD. The you big want, ones are still big. Uh, yeah, you want 8K yeah, okay. or red. Yeah, I'm using <laughs> yeah. a red camera. For, I can get super extra slow. One. And then I do like the idea of the uh, uh, Uber pulls up at the house, mm. and your wife gets out at Seth's house, and she's <laughs> walking up the driveway. And then I look with my camera, I swivel, I look out there, and I'm like, wait a minute, and I zoom in. The Lyft driver's Tom Rose. <laughs> Like, yes, he did it. He did it. Ultimate revenge. Okay. Well, ultimate fucking revenge. Unless we find out what Tom's into, and now it's the perfect thing, and they got a thruple. He's not into it, though. He says he'd be he's, okay with it, but he's but, not into it. But, okay, so, so here's my theory with like you getting better at sex as you get older, because that's been the uh, the cliche. It's like, oh, oh, oh older I woman don't think knows You more. only get better with it if you try new things and experience right. new things. If you or just keep doing the same you, shit. But, but your own fitness <laughs> level, like, for instance, like in sports, uh, AJ 
Green is not as good as he was ten yeah, years he ago. Lost he lost a step. Like, lost step. I feel like even like you lose a step, no. uh, even you, eating it. Well, not, I mean, you know, not, <laughs> I, I, being a football player and fucking is not the same. Just, well, you're well, not as uh, I am vigorous the as Daryl Armstrong of Cundalingas. <laughs> I am the fastest two step to the basket no, you'll ever fucking yo, find. You've lo- you were better in your twenties. No, no, because no, no, I wasn't. didn't know he, where to go. I'm like, I'm looking at guys. I'm looking the list. You are not that. My first time. My first time. I did like a bundle. She told my, it was my sister's friend, and she told him. Oh, thank God and she, said sister's friend. I know, I was like, he's going to stop a sister. It's going to be a real God. weird joke. Hey, you're filming me. No, no. And then, like, um, and then like three weeks later, she broke up with me and said, yeah, when he ate me out, he was licking my butthole thinking it was my vagina. Oh, yeah. Oh, you thought it was a mistake. God, you're so stupid. But I thought think, the butthole was a vagina. But, yeah, there's no No way. one's ever She's thought just that. She's saying that. Yeah, exactly. She's just being mean. Well, well in the dark, it's all to say. It's not in all fairness. I was, my finger was in her butthole already, and my tongue was on her. Oh, my God. All right. Well, there's, you know. Now, you're out in in honesty. My dick game is not nearly as good as it was when I was younger. Nah. Fatter, older. (laughs) But, but, I know. Everyone's real surprised. Everyone's super surprised as I gained that weight back. And I just don't fuck quite as good as I used to. Mm. But, my tongue, fingers, all the other stuff, fantastic. Mm. So it's kind of like you, you know, if you can't get them long bombs, yeah, yeah. you just hit them with yeah, them slant yeah. passes. Uh, yeah. I feel like <laughs> but, you know, I don't know, right? Big Tim's fingers keep going for yeah. Trump as his face as he's saying that. I feel the like going, <laughs> I feel like Big Tim's dick gets first round draft pick every year. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like the Cleveland Grays. <laughs> oh fuck! So, yeah. It's still pink. I, for instance, I I have a uh, Cleveland Grays for for women. Like we talked to Samantha about the frogging, right? That's an advanced yeah. move. Yeah. That I've oh, never yeah, experienced yeah, yeah, in my life. You've one. never been frogged. Never been frogged. Oh. And I feel Why like you ask for that for Christmas. Older women. Well, because my wife, I think, physically can't do it for oh. long. You know, well, she can do it. For all you need is five frogs. All you need is three, three, three to five frogs. She's also some uh, bars. I don't. She, she I also don't. gonna be like, I'm not doing that shit. I'm like, okay. No, the <laughs> best is when I'll they do it in high heels and they poke holes in the sheets. That's why I need a man with some biceps. I can actually curl. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with just getting another one. I like to angry. Missionary. I like to hold. <laughs> I like missionary. to. You gotta think bigger, man. There's so much more. Your <laughs> wife's hot as fuck, man. Y'all could be having I weird, know. wild, kinky sex and shit. I you have a sponsor of a sex store. Yeah, I like no. to Get hold her swing. legs, and I can I push like them straight Bow over her, her shoulder. No, I have a swing. It. You can borrow it. The swing. I I borrow. Borrow. Why not? I've only used it a couple times. It's not that gross. You can borrow it. You just said your girls were slimy. I get mad when I have to make my kids lunches every morning. You think I'm gonna start hooking a swing to I beams that I drill them? Also, do you think I can have the uh, talent to fucking drill in? Put it inside anchor, your IKEA closet. Like a fine, yeah. find the. I'll uh, come install it for you. The two by four. You're gonna use the five years anyway, because he keeps seven for angry missionary. I, I, I feel like that's a Jesus like, Christ. Hey, hey uh, Seth's coming over on the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just don't know. Just don't say anything and let me do it and have him watch me do it. I, mean, I tell surprise. my sons like go, go to your room and stay in there. You don't. Like, <laughs> I, what is happening? I'll take your sons for ice cream when my truck runs while he fucking says. Yeah, that's not <laughs> creepy. Yeah, Big Tim's taking my son for ice cream while I'm eating my wife's butt at a Seth's sex swing. This is hey, fucking crazy. That he installed it. He's still here. <laughs> He's watching it. Daniel's got a shoulder yeah, mounted no, video camera. The sex swing is for me to swing on and jerk off as you missionary no. fuck your wife. And for some reason, uh, swing to I'll lift. Right, for some reason, I'll lift. Because he's looks like Tom fucker. Rhodes is yeah. driving around the uh, circle a lot. He's not going to settle for angry missionary. He's got to get wild. Yeah, because it has, it has stirrups in it, so you can have your feet up like in stirrups when the swing, too. Jesus. Christ. Yeah, no, I don't need that. I, I, I feel too much pressure to perform. I'm like, is this good? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't seem like. It. I hope you don't make that face. I got. I got. <laughs> is, this is this good? I got a pi- I got. I put on my pillowcase. <laughs> of course. I like that's <laughs> probably the first time he's ever asked if it's good for his wife. What's right? your? Uh, let me ask you this because I because like we're here. Uh, I'm just gonna ask you. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh, what's your favorite uh, position? I don't know. Be honest. I don't want to have a favorite. Come on. Because he ain't done but the one. You're so lucky. She's never been with you. Everybody has I've a favorite another. position. <laughs> yeah, you want me to tell? I'll start. Okay. Reverse cowgirl. All right. So I can part those cheeks. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and I can squish it yeah, and I can control. You can control the most. It's a reverse know. frog. Mm. I, I, yeah. I, will, I will pay for my own Uber if you take my prescription Viagra here. Oh. Go to the Wait, store, fill it up. You that keeps looks like the Gettysburg <laughs> Address. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's been in my pocket for a while. Jesus Christ. I've been waiting a little while. It looks like some constitution. Get it filled. Get it filled. Get it filled. Let Seth put up that swing. Get Send a kid with grandma or something. Yeah, and yeah. try and revigorate this marriage, man. Your life, you're missing so much. I'm sure well, the, the problem is that I, that I can't get boners. Like, I, I, 
Tom. Big Hold it's not. No, you're not getting. It's not. You're <laughs> you're thinking too small, Tom. Oh, okay. It's not that you can't Literally. get a boner. This when you can get a boner. Will make you feel like you have a boner forever because you will. Oh, you I just you my wife out. will love that and be like, "Oh my god, a boner forever! <laughs> this is gonna be bad for you." Oh, it's, it's almost like Jared. It's like the today, no woman the wants tomorrow, to... and forever boner. I might necklace. be crazy, but I think most married women don't want their husbands no. to have a forever my boner. Wife, my wife tells me to put it away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, "I'm, yeah. uh, you know, I've had it. I, I get it. it even if, if I touch it, <laughs> I like to touch her while I'm sleeping, you know. And she'll put her butt near me. If I rub her butt, she'll be like, "Not too many touches." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she gets mad as fuck. Yeah, yeah, man. And working. then I'm like, I gotta go jack into the toilet. You don't just nonchalantly get a boner and just like. Oh, I get boners like, all the time. Poke it in yeah, her yeah, butt yeah. a little bit. Just, yeah, yeah. By, yeah. by the way, then, sometimes I just it, lay it on her sleep mask. Seth, yeah. Seth doesn't experience this because he still uh, has yeah. younger girlfriends, so he can uh, he can guilt them and be like, I have a boner, and then they're like, I and, don't guilt anybody. Hold on, I want to put that out there. It's a young man's move. I'm gonna get. Don't have to. I'm gonna get blue balls if he doesn't. Yeah, no, but. News. But older <laughs> married women will be like, go jack off. They yeah, don't yeah. give a shit. They do not feel guilt. Oh, they, oh no, they'll go uh, further. They'll go to the kitchen, cut your cock off. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go kill yourself. Yeah, yeah. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm busy and the kids are yeah. yelling at me. Yeah, we're better off without you. Go right. stab yourself. I'm in the a bumbling redneck. We just replaced one letter. It's the fucking Tim and Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Uh, all right. Uh, so let's take a break. We're going to reset. Uh, I, oh, we, we start off the show completely different than we wanted to. Uh, our, our initial idea. Was to look at the past ten years. Uh, I got some stuff. It's the end of a yeah, goddamn yeah, decade. It took like an hour to get my stuff. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go over a kind of. Uh, I'm the, sure there'll be a lot of the same, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, because I never even uh, it's, it's weird because for whatever reason, I like nothing uh, from 2010 to now we're going to 2020. I don't look at 2010s as a decade as much as like the 90s or the 2000s, but it is. Yeah, like I, it had its own culture and its own like. Uh, oh yeah, uh, it shaped us, uh, but. But it, yeah, for whatever where reason, we are now, things have never been better. <laughs> those uh, those ten years, uh, You're right, damn right, buddy. <laughs> we even uh, Samantha was bringing up shit from like 2011. I'm like, what? Like that yeah. was 2011? Yeah. Like uh, because it was fucking nine years ago. Like it was a different time. Anyway, so we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna reset. We're gonna go over the past decade. Uh, we got some friends of the show here, Big Tim, Seth, uh, and we're just gonna yeah, have fun. We've got friends show. of the show here. We lost a friend of the show earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, this is new music from a band called Rivals. The name of the song is Supernova. It's off their Supernova, uh, Supernova EP. Not to be said like a swamp person. Supernova. These guys are like a pop rock. Uh, I don't even know how do you describe it. Emo pop rock. So enjoy this. We'll be back with more mediocre time with Tom and Dan right after this. Sport, Subaru, what you gonna do? Your car stinks, you need a better car, you better go to Sport Subaru, go far in your new car. I like that. Uh, it's like a, it's a, it's hard to anything with Mitsubishi. I <laughs> Mitsubishi, go see me. <laughs> oh, Ride okay. my brand new car. Mm. I'm gonna go for. I'm like, using the same rhymes that I used in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's fine. I'm very Nick Cannon and in, 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 in it. Uh, speaking of Sports Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi, and Don Miley Chevrolet, I've gotten a lot of texts either from. Uh, uh, Mike Stacks oh, yeah. or from J.C. Harrelson about people buying cars. You see that guy's uh, Forrester? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a legitimately nice purchase from Mike Stacks. Uh, one of our listeners got a brand new uh, Mitsub- or, excuse me, a Subaru uh, Forrester. Forrester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it Love is, that car. It's a great little ride, man. Um, I've had the Subaru Forrester, the WRX I drive around now. What's I, next? I, I bought, I don't know, they, uh, Ascent? The, the Ascent, my yeah. wife's been interested in. Uh, it's a real nice car. It just came out last year for the first time. Big. Um, I uh, I have the uh, Silverado that I got from uh, Jay Z Harrelson. <laughs> you drug bro? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, I am. We uh, we got a crazy day today. Yeah, today was a crazy day. But uh, the, you know, one thing that's not crazy is the amount of attention to detail that Mike Stacks, Jay Z Harrelson will treat you. If you're on the Subaru and Mitsubishi side, mm. Mike Stacks can uh, can get you dialed in and yep. and and do what I say. 
Go there and make sure you let him know that you're a, a mediocre time and you're a BDM listener, and and it really does make the difference. Yeah. I mean, you're going to get that personal attention. Same they thing get, with J.C. Get, Harrelson. Yeah. I mean, J.C. Harrelson is a Corvette freak. He's a genius when it comes to Corvettes, but normally, like our guys, let's just be real. They're going to go there and they want to get a Colorado or a Silverado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. J.C. can can hook you up, but but don't waste your own time by not telling them you're a listener. You yeah, have yeah. to take advantage of the fact that these guys know you. Yeah, I that's how to get the VIP treatment. Also, that's how they know to uh, to text me and let me know that yeah. uh, you're going to come and watch well, the show. it helps the show. It helps the show. Yeah. Like, look, it's a win-win. You're going to get money off, and we're going to get credit for the fact that y- you... You went in there because yeah, of us. Yeah. You were held accountable, you know, or we were, rather, held accountable for our listeners. So it, it means a lot to us, and they've been with us for a very long time now. Yeah. And uh, I get real sentimental when we reach the holidays, but it's, it's just nice to have them on board. And yeah. Yeah. And uh, the Subaru and Mitsubishi is right there in West Colonial Drive yep. in front of the fairgrounds over there. Uh, they are the only Subaru dealership with no dealer fee. And Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont, you can go to dmchevy.com. Go see J.C. Harrelson. But those are the cool, uh, two car dealerships to sponsor us, so uh, we appreciate if you use them. So uh, back to the show. I think that's it. Oh, hold oh. on. It, said, it says 21 more seconds, but hey, I guess we're back. Welcome back to a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't... Uh, hey, that is a friend of the show. Like, that is an actual listener. This oh, is cool. a great story. Wait a story. minute. Did you return their call? <laughs> this is a great story. No, actually, I met this particular woman, I want to say, at Celery City Craft Beer in Sanford, Florida. Yeah. The name of this artist is uh, Balake, and the name of the song was Fake. His mom found me. And gave me a flash drive with his uh, rap songs on it. That's a fucking cool ass mom. No, oh, yeah. Dude, if your mom will find me and yeah, give me a copy of your like, my son wants to be a rapper. <laughs> that's pretty close to how it happened, and she was so sweet. And hey, man, I'll play it on the show. Like I love having, yeah. especially hip hop. Like I am, a, mm. I'm in a hip hop drought right now. You don't like the hip hop, <laughs> but all the girls that you probably bring over probably that's love the pop and the hip hop. Fake it for them. Yeah. No, really? <laughs> They're faking it too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, damn, Sam. Cacao, 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 cacao. But anyway, welcome back to Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer's here. Seth Petrozelli is here. Big Tim Murphy's here. A bunch of special guests are here sitting in. Mm. Yes. Oh, my God. Are you lighting me? Am I going to no. what? Oh, 30 shit, seconds? What do no, I got? I need to plug yeah. the fucking thing in. I thought you were in. lighting me to get off the stage. I didn't mean to. No, uh, I need to light the thing now. I need to plug the thing in, though. But this. What do you want to do now, so, buddy? Let's, uh, let's talk about the past decade. Uh, I know uh, I You want to do the shot first? Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Butler yeah. shot? Yeah, okay, let's do it. I'll give, yeah, uh, let's do that. So give excited Butler his uh, echo here. Butler. Tequila today. I'm joking. I like your... Tequila. Is this what our guest brought us? Nice. Thank you guys for bringing this. Okay, Butler, um, you have the uh, you have the floor. Yeah, Wait, hold on. Uh, to the senator from London, England, I yield back. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so cheers to a fantastic fucking year. Meet me tonight, Falcon Four Beer. I usually bumble and not know what to say. So quote the hero of uh, Christmas, Yippee Ki Yo Ki Yay. Rock and roll nine to two. All right. I got it. That was, that was really good. Ooh, that was a uh, that tasted expensive. It's officially dubbed a Christmas movie. Wow, right that's now. actually pretty that's good. Right. Mm. So by who? What I is that? Quit putting I that up. That's gonna be a lot more hard. Is that just yeah, silver? That uh, fuck. Well, who's that game by? Friend, <laughs> Gremlins, Lethal Weapon. That's Die good. Hard, all Christmas movies. Gremlins. For the sure. director of Gremlins that's has a fantastic podcast, by the way. Really? That's yeah. one of the smoothest tequilas. Get out that box. Mm. What is that? I need. Some I don't know. I got to buy some almond tequila. Guy. Oh, wow. wow! Thank you guys. That is delicious. Hundred percent agave Herradura. It was very Herradura. dry. It was good. Yeah, that is delicious. Anyway, um, not a sponsor. Be a sponsor. Mm. So, all right. Let's... We only do the one shot, right? Because I, I normally I'm not. I didn't have to drive the work truck here. Mm. We only do one shot. Just one. You can take as many as you want. Oh shit! All right. Well, you got a whole bar in there. You got that lady's number, right? I do have the lady's number. Oh yeah. You should call her in here. I want to see this. So how much that you eat the Lyft driver's ass on the program? Uh, <laughs> on the program. On the program. On the program. 
<laughs> well, I'll shut the camera <laughs> down, but just uh, how much just for you Just to- audio. I <laughs> mean, I guess <laughs> yeah. if she can sense it. It's just going to sound like the Seabreeze Quartet. Lana. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> and then me, I'm comfortable laughing. <laughs> hundred bucks in a ride, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it's happening. Yeah. Pulling our pants out. Okay. Uh, 21 uh, most ridiculous mm-hmm. fads of the 2010s. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. You want to yeah. start there? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about some shit that's went down the past decade. Uh, Anything you can think of off the... Uh, or think of off the top of your head that you would want to be included in the uh, 2010 ridiculous fads. I can't even go back I'll in give my you head one. and look at I, 2010 and remember what that year was. I'll give you number one. Number one on this list is the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. That was in 2010? 2014. 2014. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so this is the decade. That guy, oh, I thought you were going by 10, 11, 12. Well, we're going, we're, it's just all over the place. Within the decade. All right. That guy, the actually, guy, the one that made those videos go viral, away, just yeah. passed away recently. Yeah. yeah. Ah, fuck. <laughs> well, well, he did a lot all for... All water for nothing. Like, uh, he did a lot for it, though, because like the, the original deal was you were supposed to do the challenge and give money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. How many people hardly anyone You know who challenged me and he challenged Buddy Dyer at the same time was Phil Rollins. Oh, really? Who who was owning um, well, I don't, yo, yeah, he doesn't own I don't. Know, I don't even know what his status is anymore. Yeah, I have no idea. Whatever, so, he's whatever he is. But he I was. So, he was the owner, and uh, and I just said, "Fuck it, I'm not doing the ice bucket thing." Because again, not to make the theme of the show, I don't have time to fucking fill a Homer bucket full of ice, and I went and drive around get a bucket. Of ice. No, I just give you fifty dollars, you know, like uh, to the charity. Yeah, yeah. Just easier that way. Yeah. Um. Although I think that whole thing did raise like an insane it amount actually, of money. One hundred and fifteen million dollars, and it ended up uh, funding a breakthrough that they're working on. So it might was pretty good. Yeah, you know, I mean, they literally cured, or maybe not cured, but found a vaccine and almost cured it as far as you could live with it forever. AIDS by the amount of money raised in like the nineties for like all the the drug cocktail shit. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. charity. I mean, now there is a uh, a pill you could take that you won't get AIDS. Like day of, like yeah, preventive treatment. Yeah, yeah, day of. Like you, you, yeah, it's a before you have sex. It's a maintenance regimen drug. So if I sleep with somebody Mm. that has AIDS. And I took this pill. I will not get no, it. No, no, that- no, 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 no. You have to take it all the time. And if you happen to fucking do somebody with AIDS or you fuck around and they got AIDS, also it's like a birth daily- control. It's like birth control. Also, it's like, why aren't we all on that? Because well, it's, it's, expensive. Like it's expensive. It's expensive side effects and also what are the side effects? Green cum. Uh, I don't. That's not so bad. I no, that but it just goes to show you Slime. that we can Slime. actually Slime. figure shit out with yeah, enough that's money. Pretty, you know? That's pretty amazing. Oh yeah, well yeah, time, money, and and yeah, you can figure out most things. Yes. So <laughs> is this a pill? That, uh, a pill that we can go to like socioeconomically? We can go to areas that maybe are uh, have a higher concentration of AIDS, and then we can provide this. Four people. It's expensive in a, as fuck. It's yeah. a pharmaceutical uh, company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on where. Wait, you saw how uh, that some of those areas reacted with the measles vaccinations. Right. I, could, I, I don't. I can't imagine them reacting well, very positively a, to any other vaccination. Well, there's, from the a, West. there's a there's a fairly horrific uh, history of uh, vaccinations with racism all too. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. let's jump on to something uh, less <laughs> easy. Fun. No, uh, no, <laughs> stick with AIDS. No history. AIDS. No history. <laughs> no history. More AIDS. No history. Is, is AIDS, AIDS, that you or Flight of the Concords? Because they do have a joke where they go, "Let's do something less." Aidsy. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, Aidsy is a yet. great so, in, uh, adjective. Ice bucket challenge. Remember that. This yeah. is a thing I didn't realize was uh, created in the 2010s. 100%. The cronuts. Hundred percent cronuts. Twenty. Oh. I thought that's been around. Cronuts. Oh. Uh, you know, it's, it's a <laughs> I donut know croissant nuts. combo. It's freaking good. Oh, I've never. Seven Eleven had them for a little bit for a little while. Seriously, for like a City. month. It, it's, it's a uh, it's croissant a, and a donut mix. Prepared. Croissant. It's a croissant bread. Bread prepared like a donut. Prepared like a donut. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm, so you got to think about like a croissant, yeah. like where its properties. I think what really uh, make it a different uh, type of pastry would be that it's very flaky and mm, super but, buttery. Buttery and flaky. Yeah, tons it's, of butter. So, so um, it's beating Islam. Donuts are yeast raised. I think that the, for this they use like you know that standard flaky, like you know, uh, yeah. phyllo dough style. Yeah, and then uh, you you fry. The, have you ever had one? I've never had. I've never you're heard not of a cronut. You're not a sweets guy, but yeah. knowing you how I think I know you, you would like a cronut. Oh, yeah, yeah. These that things mean. were selling out in New York for like years. You know what's crazy. funny about Tom is he's not a sweets guy at all, but if you get him something that's done properly, he'll be all in. Mm-hmm. Like when we had the maple bars at uh, Voodoo Donuts in Portland. Yeah, yeah, Like when we well, went there and got one fresh off the line, he was with a piece of bacon on it and it's long, you know, it looks like a long john, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. He was like, holy shit, this is like oh, really good. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I taste a donut and be like, eh, 
Pacific Coast. I, no, delicious. Like, like, you're not, I don't like You're donuts. not known for your love of <laughs> fun. Because well, well, I, I look at it like if I'm going to get the sugar, I'll just take it in the alcohol form later that actually makes Correct. me forget about things. Yeah, That's when I walk. Palate, this bro, donut right. just makes me feel like, God damn it, I just got a little fatter. And then I'm like, not even fucked So wait up. a minute. So if the donut <laughs> would fuck my you time. up, if the donut would fuck you up, oh. you'd be a fat motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I was with the, the lots of uh, beer. Oh man, there. there was a picture of you and I sitting in your hot tub from, I think, uh, oh, last yeah. year. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, 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 it was uh, literally like Super Mario. That's me, and then <laughs> Fat Luigi. <laughs> like, because like, you know, Luigi's known for being a very thin. I, I uh, think you're more toast. Uh, more toast. Uh, yeah. Well, no, toad, 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 toad doesn't have the belly that Mario does. Research it. Uh, okay. I was thinking the toad look. I don't know. Little yeah, yeah. Oh no, we both are like. Oh, it's bad. like big. There was a like, game that launched in 2016. That's still going strong if you're EJ. Pokemon Go oh, was all the rage. He made the list? Yeah, oh, it made the list. No shit. Yeah. Anybody in here play Pokemon Go? Raise your hand. No, no, no one does Pokemon. anymore. EJ is the only one that a few nerds held out. My, uh, uh, my Muay Thai instructor at the gym plays it still. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Did I meet? I don't like Did my Muay Thai instructors uh, no. uh, like being into nerdy stuff. I just want them to be... It's the jungle. We have all sorts of people. Uh, oh, hardcore ass kicking and and that's it. <laughs> no, okay. no fun. No, there are a, a lot of the guys. Most of the guys there are into like comics, nerdy like stuff. You, you know what? It makes sense because video video to be into something that much and to have that much uh, like the training and the dedication it takes. Like it probably similar to why um, most uh, like metal band guitarists are nerds because they're nerds. They spent their entire teenage years learning how to play guitar really yeah, well, yeah, yeah. and then that's why they can be at the top uh they, you know they can play so well so same thing with magicians and probably uh karate men yeah, great They're all nerds the only- well, yeah, it is a nerdier sport than not a nerdy sport a until sport? i chop your fucking head off. no it is it's a nerdy <laughs> sport like, no, like I, 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 I think I like martial arts <laughs> is nerdier than like professional skateboarding mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, why yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. like they're I, I like ask, i even asked my girlfriend i'm like hey so i appreciate you being supportive of me doing karate and stuff like that but i know it's kind of nerdy but does it help the fact that i used to be a professional fighter and get an occasion actually beat people up and she's like yeah, it helps a lot. <laughs> oh. like, okay, okay. Yeah, because yeah, when you stand there in your gi and you do the adukin, uh, I, don't I do, do any laugh. Fucking <laughs> I, I do laugh at you. <laughs> and I, and if anybody did a kickflip, it'd be way cool. Like, oh, cool! And you're like adukin. Oh, like, uh, it's it's arc, he's punching air. It's fucking you're awful <laughs> harsh on the man that can beat all of us in hand combat. <laughs> And I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm, like yeah. I'm like, I can do that. So do I get. We got a couple. Uh, uh, some flame. <laughs> a couple dances that were popular: the Harlem Shake and the. Oh, Shake we video. did a video. We did a video where we uh, v- zeroed in on my dog's pulsating penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Let what? me see if I can find also, that. Also, flossing. I, no, I don't think I can put that on. Twitter. Remember uh, flossing? I still floss. Some no, some he, kids still floss. You floss? Hold on. You're too can old you to fl- floss. Show me a floss right now. Is that like back? Backpack kid, right? No, it's, it's yeah, okay. backpack kid. Don't knock any. Yeah. You're, that is oh, awful. That's, that's not awful. That's terrible. No, you're doing that's the twist. Oh, no. not, oh, my God. He's you're breaking everything. You're stiffer than I am. <laughs> this guy's... Oh you're chubby chubby. Have, Stiffy I McGee. <laughs> no. I move better than that. All right. You're Tom, mom, now you I've have to floss. Uh, yeah, now yeah, you have to floss. Oh, right. I, I can do we it. We know you can scoop, but can you floss? Show me your floss. The jeans might be too bad. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hold on. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it flawlessly. Now just do that while fucking. Stiff, stiff, stiff. Yeah, but at least I got it. I, I know the most. Yeah, just just, just, just translate that to fucking, Tom. Uh, just do yeah. that when you're fucking. Uh, do that exactly. Yes, do that you while you're fucking. Your no, don't do that you're when you're fucking. Your well, you have your seat. Yeah. <laughs> if you do that when you're fucking, you're going to knock your butt plug out. Yeah. <laughs> like, what about, did you guys see the wall? Oh, you know, no, goddamn well, he's never had a butt plug anywhere involved with him. It has uh, a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she, you're a brony. Yeah, yeah. She's kicking my flanks with the spikes. <laughs> yeah. I had, yeah, a girl, I had a girlfriend. Yeah. I had a girlfriend that used to like to stick a finger in my butt as I was coming. Oh no! Yeah. It'll make it so, real intense. No. I had a motor orgasm. I'm, that not, way. I'm not going to say I liked it, but I am going to say that I, I, I liked how much I didn't have them then. Uh, yeah, I had you. a clean butt, but I li- I did like how <laughs> it because uh, she would do the prostate. Um, Milky? Massage, really? and Swirl? I did like how it, like a lot would come out, and it would go a long way, uh, and that's yeah, kind of fun. You know, like uh, little boys never... like squirt guns. I'm just saying. I, I had a motor orgasm that way. It was changed my life. You, you know what? Uh, Tom I... just threw up in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the guys that like uh, like there was some person that came up with the first Harlem Shake video, right? Like obviously there was an inventor, right? Yeah. yeah. So what's interesting to me now is you can come up with something and have extreme popularity, like more than anybody uh, in the past would like have. Like, like how many Harlem Shake videos were out? How many people knew about it? Like the whole world at one point for a small amount of time. But that person who invented it probably received nothing out of it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. and so it's we live in a time where you can uh, create something. In that the can, world. Well, seriously, they can be uh, the most popular thing in the world for like uh, a couple weeks and you made it yeah. and you get nothing out of it. I don't know. We, we, that, we, we, we actually kind of, it's kind of reverse back because it was always how that was the copyright shit and the shit we think of where you make money off something like that is a fairly new thing because way back in the day you had the sheet music and shit but like it yeah, kind of yeah. comes back, but also the it cat actually worked out is, better for him. That's got some lasting power. And man. the cat meme, uh, if you actually look up what she's yelling about, it's fucked up. But uh, not to be all, but that guy mm. actually they changed the way the music charts work because of Arlen Shake. Now YouTube videos count towards her, like they count towards things that got that dude a number one Billboard thing. Yeah. But was he able to? Benefit off of it. I mean, he, the, he was, but not yeah. everyone that made those videos. He benefited off of it more than he would if it never happened. Right. True, but to the level of which he deserves in the fact that everybody in the world, or at least the majority, knew about it at one time, burned hot, everybody was doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like. But what does he, he really deserve? He should be deserve? a multi-millionaire. He, but, yeah, yeah, it was, it was yeah. just like yeah. you created something that yeah, everybody knows the about. Of a creator, but he yeah. didn't create the song that was in it. The dude that he didn't he didn't have the rights that he took know, someone's yeah. song. It, it's almost like Let La- Terra Nista or whatever, and made it a thing. Like it is a nothing, but it uh, should be more than a nothing. <laughs> when the fact it doesn't, but, it was, right. but it was more than nothing. It, you're just you're confusing <laughs> exactly. capitalism and the bullshit of money attached to it. You're right. And assign right, a monetary right. value to something that. Does you're it right. really need to be a mon- do you really need to be a multimillionaire because you made a video that was easily comparable to other people did when other people are multimillionaires for a lot yes a lot I, less I, I, listen I, I don't disagree with he there are some and but those other people shouldn't be multimillionaires for the bullshit right, they were right, multimillionaires. It's on you to find a way to monetize it. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care. Well, Look, if you if didn't do the Harlem Shake, did you do the mannequin challenge? Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, Archim- that Archim was so that. fucking weird. Man- I couldn't get to a point where I think we maybe you and I did one for Orlando City. No, yeah. Again. Was that where everybody just freezes? Yeah, freezes yeah, like, yeah, a, yeah uh, mannequin the Black challenge. Mm. Uh, was the, uh, All these things are really that. stupid, right? <laughs> like, uh, they're not. <laughs> I mean, they're they're just, I, I mean, no one's ever fat. like, whoa, awesome. Yeah, Everything's fabulous, really right. man. Yeah. What do you want to fucking put ash on our food so we never <laughs> taste joy, Tom? Uh, Mr. No, no. Everything has to be. I, art I, doesn't need function, <laughs> motherfucker. That's art. Yes, <laughs> but I don't consider. No, well, well, you know, I still still look at uh, the camera moving. <laughs> if, it mo- <laughs> if it moves, if it moves the person looking at it, then it's considered art. No, I, I, well, okay, but so it is. That's like- why my karate kata is on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I will yeah. get. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not invited to Mark's birthday party. Oh, I like that birthday party, too. Where else am I going to get my dose of dusty plants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like to show up really early at your birthday party uninvited. Dusty plants. What else have we got here? Uh, so a uh, famous hairstyle that was popular in the early the butt cut? 2010s was the side shave. Yeah, a lot one of girls. One side of your head What'd you think of the girls still, long. Girls still do that? But it started in the 2010s where it got really hot. Yeah, it did. You know, you uh, had like Skrillex Kelly, Kelly Clarkson, Rihanna. Yeah. Rihanna. Uh, oh, is that you one side all the way up to like... I kind of did it. I said fuck it and did the whole thing. Yeah, I kind of did it. Like I like I <laughs> had like a, I had a problems. razor part. <laughs> I had a razor part and then I shaved it down and then I had like a swoop. Uh, I, it wasn't as uh, as uh, aggressive as the if no, like a my, girl. If I still that, go to my Hispanic barber. He does that to me. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like a girl. Like height. a lot of girls would do like long, like hair as long as my wife's yeah. hair, and then underneath it would be shaved. So the the left I side think would be completely sexy. shaved. Yeah, right, so you'd have too. a shaved head, but you'd have the like a flip over. Yeah, I think it's sexy. Like, like I, I kind of dig it. It's hey, on the right woman, it can be incredibly hot. Yeah, I, I think it, it gives you kind of that like uh, BDM, what is that cyberpunk it style? You know, like I, I'm into. You look like as a, long as there's not like a nose ring in the middle to go with it or something. Like I can, that. I can oh, get know, down with that. Too. I think it has to go with that. Mm. Yeah, I can get down with that too. I think it comes with it when you get the haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also hard to come back from once you shave all the side of your head. Like the transition between. 
Oh my god, it's the worst. I had, a, I had a mohawk in high school, and yeah, yeah. the awkward stage in between mm. trying to grow your hair back out, it's terrible. It's why I don't grow a beard anymore, because there is a very uh, awkward, and even when I have like a hat you that... You specifically. <laughs> it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> you look like a fucking middle They're school like, kid yeah. trying to be his like older brother. Weird Because it's like yeah. D. Yeah, like, yeah. like a fert going through chemo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But before... That was funny shit. Give me... Yeah. Yeah. Before <laughs> it actually <laughs> even grow, there's it's spot. We're one gross. step closer to <laughs> Seth and, uh, and Big Tim living together. Well, yeah. I'm 100 percent down. I didn't do anything. That would be a fantastic reality show. <laughs> it friend. really would. Be. It would be the fucking best. People would watch the live stream for sure. Uh, <laughs> fucking. What else in the 2010s? We uh, something in? we actually bought into fidget spinners. Ah, <laughs> damn fidget spinners. Now, got the I have a theory spinners. about this because like they they've gotten uh, more sophisticated. Like my daughter was gifted a, a fidget spinner from like I don't know like uh, Christmas parade they you know they're throwing junk out you know promotional junk off these yeah, floats yeah. and she got like a cube and like on one side it's got like an on off switch on one side it's got a joystick on one side it's got like uh, numbers it's got a small uh, like a ball bearing in there like there's all these little things for you to fuck with like mm-hmm. is that toy. because we are so stressed out from social media and being connected all the time that now we need to carry plastic devices in our pocket. That will allow us to get out excess fucked up energy because we're killing ourselves with these devices? I have no idea, but it probably all ties into some psychological effect that uh, everybody's phones uh, are having on people. Like, and where you need constant stimulation, constant. She actually just uh, lost the patent, mm, mm, and it's super easy to make them things. Oh, fidget spinners? Yeah. Oh, yeah the yeah, patent yeah. lapsed, and she didn't really do much. It was with a it girl? And- yeah, she had a patent for that thing, and then some Chinese factory made it, and it caught on, and mm. then media started talking about how they were a thing, and then, remember, they're an incredibly cheap, easy thing to make. It's just some plastics and ball bearings, yeah, yeah, and yeah, they yeah. were selling them for like eight bucks a piece, ten bucks a piece at oh, yeah, stores. Yeah. Well, there is a certain satisfaction mm. you get from holding that thing and feeling like the energy uh, return. Mm-hmm. You know, like you spin it, and you could feel the gyroscopic energy, you know, like you could... Yeah. It's kind of like you, the same thing as just somebody just doing this with their leg constantly, Yeah, right? like, same thing. the same type of thing. Oh, that is good. I like oh, bouncing my Leg. I'm a leg really? bouncer. You leg hold bouncer for you know, life. Gonna... You hold a fidget spinner. You spin it. You're like, oh, I see. And then you're like, I got enough of that. <laughs> That's well, it for the rest of your life. No, like, you're I mean, done if if you do it right than... for mind, like it's it's an extension of mindfulness, right? Mm. And uh, if you can focus energy, and you like, I listen to the same five songs on repeat when I'm doing something because I know how long the song is, and I like the song, so I don't have to worry about the skipping. Sometimes you want to have the mindlessness of getting your hands going while you do some other task. What five songs do you listen to? It depends. It really depends. (laughs) All the Gold by the Oak Ridge. uh, No, Mm. by the Gatlin Brothers. I have to turn. Um, Bye bye, Miss American Pie. (laughs) Don McLean. Afternoon Delight. Why do you see my dick by Ying Ying Twins? (laughs) (laughs) Whisper Uh, song. (laughs) It's whisper. It depends. It's quite the whisper. I I, 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 I can't. can't It's more like a. Where is it? And fuck you. We know where it is. Tim pretends that his papa singing to him. We know. We know where it is. We know where it is. I feel I'm okay. killing this guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know it's hitting. Wait to uh, see. <laughs> Uh, what else do we What got? about T-Bowing? You guys ever oh, did T-Bowing? Oh, oh, fucking fucking T-Bowing. Stupid. oh, fucking T-Bowing. Now it's the dabs, right? The dab. But yeah. Back then in the, what was it, in 2010? Was it T-Bowing? What? Nah, it, what is later. dabbing? What about what is things that? like killing what is, what is the, the same thing as like, T-Bowing. You know, who, who started it? I think it's a Fortnite We thing. didn't actually kill him, so who cares? Oh, oh, my, wrong. my son did that bowling the other day. I saw that video. And I'm like, he's doing the Superman that Oh, I thought that's what it was called. No, it's not called Superman that I, no, I thought it was bad, and then my wife was like, "No, it's called somebody. dabbing, you idiot." Wasn't it Cam Newton? <laughs> yeah, someone said Cam Newton. Yeah, I was going to say Cam Newton, it's but stupid. like you should, uh, you should style? have a talk gangnam with your son. Dance? Can you, you guys want a Gangnam Style? You should have a talk that's with your right? son if he's dabbing because that's so <laughs> twenty. <laughs> <Why didn't laughs> <you know? laughs> he's a nerd, so he, you know, <laughs> okay. he doesn't know. He's trying to emulate cool people. Like uh, his old man, I'm like, look, there him go, Superman. Hey, raise the roof. In the his house for shizzle, my nizzle. Uh, Those of you with children, Rangers. what about homemade slime? Yeah, oh, that's slime. kids shit. get into that. Mason oh. slime. There's a lady uh, <laughs> named Karina, Karina Garcia, known as the Slime Qu- Queen. Ooh, I gotta meet her. <laughs> Great name. Made two hundred thousand dollars every month with Holy her shit. slime recipe videos on Instagram. Are you serious? Uh, Jesus, Jesus, slime Queen. Christ. Woo! Uh, well, Ric Flair, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You may not one. like it, but you better learn. L-O-V-E, love it! We, 
chat. We have to do a uh, competition on the show one day where we're, it's going to take some research, oh, but find the person that's made the most amount of money off the dumbest shit. Uh, like, <laughs> 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 I know us. We're probably in the running, but not the two hundred thousand oh. dollars a month. Probably the pet uh, rock guy. Off. It's going to have to be the pet rock guy. I don't think he made two hundred thousand dollars a month. Uh, he made well inflation all. Yeah, yeah. I uh, because that is a shit ton. Well, can, can Ryan. Well, didn't that didn't that guy sell the uh, artwork banana duct tape oh, yeah, on the, the wall for one hundred twenty thousand dollars? But art's a fucking tax a, scam, anyways. Th- though I think that was more of a publicity stunt. Art's like a, a fucking tax scam. But he made money on it. Though? Can I, can I say I something? No. It's very serious to me. Mm. Ryan's dad. I I can't handle Ryan's dad. I don't know who that is. is that the what, Ryan, kid? the toy kid. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, and his dad. It, like everybody in the family's fine, but his dad. I just can't handle his dad. What not, the fuck not are you talking about? That shit. You don't have kids, so we don't know. No, just look at him. Little kid. It's an unboxing. Oh. Is he the one where the dad puts the, like the CGI in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He makes like fifteen no, million dollars a year. I, or like, I can't handle the dad. I can't handle the dad. Well, now, fucking twenty-eight million dollars. Yes. Yeah. Well, now he's got a empire. Netflix. Show. I smell some jealousy, Daniel. Yeah. He's a ne- no. He has a Fuck cartoon. Yeah, the whole family. Jealousy. No, the whole family's fine, and they can keep all the money. But the dad's got to go. I can't watch. <laughs> I can't watch the dad. Shit. Well, now they he, can, He's like a walking stereotype. I just can't. Oh, right. I can't do it. Well, what's interesting is that uh, he's hooked on drugs. He'd be all over with him. So the the whole Ryan thing, like my sons watch and they love it. Like if you asked them and gave them the choice of watching any Disney show, like on Disney Plus or fucking Ryan's World or whatever, they'll pick Ryan's World. And it's the weird, worst bullshit content, <laughs> garbage. Like I, it's not even you're watching. You're like me, this shit sucks. Can... It's horrible. Well, and no, my sons are loving it every there's second. Little to no educational value. Is there. it all unboxing? No, no. Now it's now it's a combination of it's like, like game show meets adventure show. Meets unboxing, meets toys, meets yeah. playground. It, it's yeah. almost like they they are just coming up with like improving bullshit, and they're just like, "Hey, let's have a sandwich." Like, like now, they have the double dare set, and they just go like, "Let's do something." Uh, you know, well, like, it started off by, by them filming themselves, and it was like Ryan playing with toys, and then basically it was like a family playing together, and they filmed it. Then as they got popularity, and they figured out how to monetize it, uh, then production companies came in and stuff, and they. And started upping their production, but uh, yeah, May, they, May they figured look- out how to monetize it, and they and uh, it's in Walmart. Like all Ryan's toys, like my sons want to get them, and all it is is bullshit eggs with nothing and inside, like some garbage yeah. inside. Yeah. And they, I'm glad May's not for into it. Eight ninety nine. Uh, they bought them for two cents in China, and I'm like, these motherfuckers are them, rich. No, they can't have that stuff. Just be like, no, no, so never tell them. No. I think <laughs> I rolled. The, I rolled. The, I rolled the, the gender. You dice know nothing about parenting. Well, I, I rolled. I tell my dog. And it works. <laughs> I rolled the gender dice on this one, and the fact that I got a girl, I think that matters, but like especially at this age, because yeah, she's yeah. just like, ooh, he's gross, you know, because he's a little yeah, boy. That's what I say. Uh, yeah, and uh, and <laughs> so, so <laughs> thankfully she's not into it, but I can see the appeal. I'm just not, man, that dad just drives me crazy. What else, Sam? What about the dyed gray hair? I, I'm what? a fan. Yeah. The I'm silver, like when perfect. girls on the right woman, yes. Looks yeah, good. when girls nope. like hipster girls have like a a perfectly done. You know, I know Melissa Soroka has done this before mm. for some clients. I'm a fan. I like it. it. It there is something that is reminds me of my mother about mm. a young uh, person <laughs> with a young face having a, a stereotypical it's old. It's not me the that Anderson far Cooper. away from platinum blonde anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. No, it's, it's kind of like purple. I too. Yeah, like, I like it's it. It's like lavender, purple. but then there's also just the silver. I, I like the silver hair though. I, I wish Andrea would do something like that, but she's a mom now. Give her give her ten years. It'll be natural. Oh, why can't she have silver hair? She wouldn't do it. Oh, she well. used to dye her hair all crazy. Like she used to do the hair shows every single year the, and uh, and have crazy hair. She no, she's a mom now. I like now. blonde hair too, but I don't like the silver. I like the silver. Uh, what about the what color is this dress debate? Oh, it's oh, like I Laurel and Yang. That fucked with my head, but reality's not real. Was it blue and real. black or white and gold? Well, you know Those what? I don't give a fuck as long as it's on my floor. I know you guys are tired of hearing. Yeah, I prefer it on the chair, <laughs> but I understand where you come from. Cockamamie uh, <laughs> theories, but uh, forced to dirty, Seth. <laughs> that True. that dress thing and the Laurel and Yanni thing uh, the with the sound vans. and the vans. Yeah. And because sometimes it pierces that fucking veil of the illusion we have, and you start seeing that our brains can't be trusted, and it'll fuck with my head. Well, it it taught me that, and it taught me that there are people that see things totally differently, and you can't understand because you're like, how are you not hear, hearing Laurel? I'm hearing Yanni, and I can't even imagine you hearing Laurel. Like this is you're insane, yeah. and the other person's saying the exactly, same. And I think that's. 
part of like the divide we have and like with people where we can't comprehend how others are thinking. Exactly, we're meant to be divided and separated. Well, right, but but it's but I think it all ties into that same shit, like the Laurel Yanni, the dress and everything. There are humans that see things totally different, and the other humans can't see, understand why they are hearing or seeing the same Our shit. Our brains and, perceive things differently. Yeah, yeah. So I think if we all understood that more, then we'd be less hateful as a society. Because Fuck my you. God, <laughs> <laughs> we are attacking. We are oh, attacking we just, each other. We crazy. Would just, we would just understand our differences and know that people are different and say, yeah, "Fuck yeah. it." Who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't get like, why are you so mad with it about this person and the way he thinks? And it works both ends. Yeah, 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 exactly. The other way too, like, uh, they, they understand that oh, they may no. not understand the way you're thinking because they can't even comprehend uh, thinking that way, or their brain doesn't think that way. Same thing with Laurel and Yanni. The dress is like the, you're seeing things polar opposite, uh, and that's how your brain works. Let's uh, fucking not you mean go it's crazy. bad to force your values and morals mm-hmm. on places, or just don't get so mad at a people when they don't see things your way, like uh, that, because it may not even be that uh, their brain works the same way. Like they're just the same thing as these fucking yeah, fake news. More stupid <laughs> wrong. <than> you. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> what about Farmville? You guys play Farmville? That was in 2010. Two, well, it says in 2009 it had more active users than Twitter, uh, but its ubiquity only continued in the 2010. So it got more popular. Is it still in the 2000- around? I think it's still a thing. I don't know. Well, how many people hey, are actually- remember when uh, Chris Campmeyer used to play Farmville <laughs> yeah, all yeah, the time? And I we one time, fun of it. yeah, I would walk by his office, and he was like our biggest boss at Clear Channel, and he would be like, he'd be in there, Daniel. He talk like that, and uh, and I remember walking by his office one day when like I knew he had a meeting with me soon, and I was like walking by to see when I'd yeah, come in. Peek into the crack, and he would do this move where he'd like shut his door like almost all the way cl- closed and leave like maybe six inches mm. uh, open, and then you could like he'd leave his keys in. That's how you knew he was there. And mm. as I walked by, you could peek through the crack, and he was in there. He's like, "I'm feeding my sheep," <laughs> you know. And I'm like, oh, like, this, I'm like, like, like "This the guy that's fucking gonna like <laughs> uh, fire or hire me? What the fuck is happening? This guy's not doing anything. Playing fucking like, Farmville. What, what the fuck are you doing? You're in there fucking feeding your sh- your virtual sheep? What the fuck is happening? Do you right have now? any idea how stressed out I am? Well, like, every day I'm, I'm about to quit my work. job. You're feeding a virtual sheep. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Really? I, well, got, I used to have a Tamagotchi. I li- I'm literally <laughs> working with somebody who's trying to get me fired, and you're feeding virtual fucking sheep, and that's mm. cool? And this is how you're running this fucking company? This is a Farmville? You guys want to hear something wilder? Uh, Zanga, the company that made that, yeah. almost got like unicorn status, where it's like the startup with the billions and shit. They got a ton of money. Based on how popular it was, and then Facebook changed the way the games worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you couldn't invite people the same way and shit. And now they're it's it's over. It's like, I know it's that, that's oh, wow. I'm fascinated by that. The fleeting uh, all it takes is an algorithm to screw. Yeah, you yeah, up. yeah. I, I, oh, it's I, not just Facebook. Just decided you couldn't just mass invite before, and it was just a whole thing. And they yeah. changed their algorithm. It, it, same, yeah. th- same thing with Pokemon Go or all these things. How fleeting they are nowadays. Where you could have the most popular shit in the world at a time, and you're like, this shit is gonna be gone. Like we, you can almost call it. You're like, this will be nothing in one year. Like well, you know, Pokemon it. Go is still standing, standing yeah. around, but it did not as big as it well. Was. Well, no shit, because you nothing could sustain that. If yeah. Pokemon Go it's been around for the 25 way. fucking years of Pokemon, so it ain't going anywhere. Well, yeah. that's uh, but I'm just saying the but, app and the, the right. if Pokemon Go stayed the way it came. That the senator from did, Nerdville has the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it would have fucking took over the world, man. Everybody be Pokemon going period the way it had that growth and shit, but. Mm. Yeah, it yeah. flares out, and then it's, it's yeah. still ran there. I wrote down some, like, pop culture stuff also that happened. So Lady Gaga with the uh, meat dress, that was in 2010. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, what about her, like, that weird jump she did at the Super Bowl where she was like, yeah, here I go. That was like, only a couple years ago, yeah. That was pretty dope. <laughs> uh, the- I- I heard from Lady Gaga that she at one time was uh, like didn't have any money. I saw that on Facebook. Like she came out with an article saying uh, like Harry Potter Arthur. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, this was from Lady Gaga saying that her like manager or whatever is like, hey, you're uh, technically you have no money. Like, and she's like, oh. what? I have a number one fucking hit. And just, oh yeah, because like, they screw you with what those is contracts. She spending it on? Well, I don't know. Meat dresses? I, yeah, I, I, meat's I, expensive. Oh, uh, it is. Especially her cop- whole dress is Kobe beef. Especially if it's bor- borset. Well, yeah, think yeah. about it. If if <laughs> if, if someone else is. <laughs> Controlling your like assets and your money flow and stuff, like, and you are just out there performing, like. Uh, well, who it, knows what kind of contract she, she exactly. got too? Because a lot but of also, those, they take all your fucking money. Again, he said technically. 
Mm-hmm. It's like if you owe a hundred million dollars, right. you have a hundred million dollars. Yeah. You say you have nothing. It's like Jeff Bezos technically donated a billion dollars in stock, but it's like stock. Of course, yeah. Yeah. I mean it's she all was this technical a, accounting bullshit. She, that, she that money's money. real when it's that big. She had more money than all of us to combine. Oh yeah, we'll but, ever have. Yeah, but she didn't have what she thought she should have being like uh, the most popular artist at the time. Like you know, and that shit happens. Like uh, you're like oh, like uh, you know, you should be. Oh You should have eighty oh, million dollars in cash. And then you only have a couple million, and the rest is like uh, deals. The shit that's not real, because once you get past oh, yeah, yeah. a certain amount of money, it's just not real no more. All right, let, let's take a quick break. Yep. Oh, so uh, many more. I know. And well, then, we can we can dance through those and do some voicemails. Yeah, and then uh, Seth's got some things. I know uh, 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 Big Tim. She, she took over. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Tim just, brought nothing. Well, they told Tim him brought to. nothing. Mm-hmm. We're just told all of us. Too. We're gonna uh, we'll go. So we'll go back do, and forth. No, I don't next care. You, I don't even care. We're gonna do a shot in the break, though. Yeah. <laughs> we are? I'm not. I'm, I'm absolutely not. Uh, we'll take a quick break, come back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. This is Run the Jewels from their first album. It's called A Christmas Fucking Miracle. If you haven't heard it, download it and buy this album. It's my pick of the week. We'll be right back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after this. Again, aren't you? I promise I'll, I'll get it back. Like, there'll be more than enough for bills next month. Uh, yeah, I've heard that before. I can't live like this anymore. And the final installment mm. of his brand new creation, Never Not Bet, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mr. Tom, Tom Vay. Vay. Yep, this is the final one uh, of the regular season. So how'd you do? How'd you do? Well, uh, last week uh, another two and two. Uh, my so winning record. <laughs> well, ring, winning record as of now. I still have this week, obviously, and then I'll put the results. I'll still do it, but yeah, I'll yeah. put it up on the BDM Gambling page. If you're not a member of that, just search for BDM Gambling page. Cool. Um, it'll be up there, and uh, you know we'll get you on. You should there. put it on the website too. Yeah, we will. Um, but uh, I it's, it's been my hobby. Hobby throughout the years, my only dad hobby, and I'll tell you, I learned a lot of things about gambling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, 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 like it. it it is difficult. It's yeah. well, fucking let's, hard. Let's, let's get to it, man. What do you uh, got? What do you got? So, uh, my record, 32, 28, and 1. That's great. Uh, as of right now. So, first game, I'm taking Tennessee plus 3. Here's the rationale behind it. Um, so, uh, they're playing New Orleans uh, this weekend. Okay. And, obviously, New Orleans is a good team. But, New Orleans, uh, two weeks ago, had that crazy uh, grudge fest uh, with uh, San Francisco. Uh, all the it was points. Like, it was yeah. like 90 points scored. Yeah, yeah. And ridiculous. back and forth. Then, after that that, um, this last Monday night game against uh, the Indianapolis Colts, um, they blew him out, and that's when Breeze scored that touch. Like, yeah, broke he broke the, broke touch the record. Over. Correct. Yeah, his family's there and whatever. So we're looking to kind of fade New Orleans now because coming off that uh, you know that unbelievable night where they're celebrating Drew Breeze and everybody stops yeah. the game. The milestones are in the book. They're waiting for the playoffs. And now they're playing uh, a Tennessee team that's good right now that has a really good running game with Derrick Henry, and it's an outside Side, uh, you know, open stadium, which New Orleans notoriously doesn't do well. Uh-uh. Um, you know, it's going to be colder weather. Uh, so we're looking to take the points at home with Tennessee plus three. Okay. Uh, next game, Redskins minus two. They're playing the Giants. Uh, Eli Manning's last game was last week. Hey, he, you know what? Uh, you say he, what you he will about Eli. Win. He did a great job. Yeah. He I'll, really did. He did an, an awesome job. And he did my heart well to see all of these, like, Giants fans, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. kind of giving him some love because I kind of hated the way. That ended, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I feel like it's it very, ended with a very, well, you know, but, but like his like, brother got to end with a goddamn Super Bowl, right. and then he but was like, "I'm is, done." This motherfucker won Super Bowl. Yeah, he won you know, as like, much like, as his brother. Super Bowls, yeah, you yeah. know, like it, I mean, like you. But can't, he'll never be his brother. Oh, no, he Eli, won't. But yeah, like, don't, don't. D- I like him, him yeah. you know. Like, come on, you know. So, like, so I, I, I like last week. So now uh, they're starting Daniel Jones, uh, who uh, Daniel played Jones. well when he started, but then fell off. He did fall off, and so now I'm looking to uh, fade the Giants in this spot because I, I don't think the Giants have anything to play for. In fact, it's probably more advantageous for them to lose the next two games for draft picks. Okay, uh, the Redskins. They have, need to change that, by the way. But. Yeah, the Redskins have been playing hard. Um, they want to win with Haskins. They want to end the season winning. Yeah. They're still trying very hard. Um, Where are we at on all the AP? 
Um, Adrian Peterson is probably his last year. Uh, he kind of just fizzled he's out. Still though, no, but like even during like he had glimmers during this season where you're like, God damn. I know, I know. He still you're got like, it. Wow. And then then nothing. Um, but anyway, I'm taking the Redskins minus two All at right. home What's against next? the Giants. Uh, next up, I'm um, taking three sides here, which I normally don't don't do. I'm yeah, doing no teaser this crazy. week. So my uh, my last side I'm taking is Arizona plus nine and a half. I believe mm-hmm. it's uh, it should be nine and a half still, um, but they're playing Seattle at home. And the reason why I'm taking Arizona in this spot is Seattle hasn't beaten a team by more than seven points the whole year, except for Arizona, in which they beat them by I think uh, it was like fourteen or seventeen. Now what? But that was at the beginning of the season. Uh, Arizona was a different team. Kyler Murray yeah, yeah. Uh, was rookie QB started. You know, so usually with rookie QBs they get better throughout the season. Sure. Also, they didn't have Kenyon Drake, who's been on fire. Yeah, Drake's been killing, killing it. it. Yeah. So uh, essentially, I'm not. I don't necessarily think uh, that Arizona is going to beat Seattle in this spot. But I do you're just think looking for the cover. They're going to yeah. keep it close. And if you're giving me nine and a half points uh, a, a against Seattle, who keeps these games close yeah. and ekes out wins, I'm taking Arizona plus nine and a half. All right. And my last total, I'm taking Bills versus New England. I'm doing the under. I bet it at under 38. I think it's 37 right now. I'd still bet that at 37. Okay. If it got down to 36, I think I'd stop. Okay. But this particular game, they're looking at New England's offense has been struggling in the past couple weeks to score any points. Bills have a great defense. Uh, New England has a great defense. This is going to be a defensive battle. I think the Bills are going to keep it on the ground. They got that uh, awesome running back, Singletary, uh, and I think New England is going to not make mistakes. I think New England probably wins this game, but uh, uh, I'm not uh, so confident that I, I bet you. on them, yeah, yeah. Um, especially when the spread's like six and a half. Yeah, six so, and a half is a lot. I'm betting the under in that game. Uh, I like that bet a lot, under 38. And my market on Magnolia beer bet this week is the most public bet this week <laughs> is Baltimore minus 10 against the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this uh, matchup. Here's the one important thing I learned this year about gambling. Because it's like hype versus like, oh, you didn't think. Well, you know. everybody's talking about a revenge game, too, because uh, if yeah. you remember, the Browns beat Baltimore, yeah. and it was a shocker. Everybody's like, what the hell happened? Um, so I don't think uh, people talk about this is a revenge game for Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore's going to blow them out. And what I've learned uh, a lot uh, is that uh, terms like revenge, Revenge and oh, they're going to get back at Doesn't this coach. Like, like, like these are millionaires, yeah. and this is their job. And it's not like they are like, oh, I was only going to play with eighty well, like, percent. But blowing, now my revenge is uh, going to be ninety. Yeah, but the right. revenge is meaningless when it comes to like winning <laughs> the entire league, right? Exactly. Also, you know what I forgot? That's yeah. crazy. Is Lamar Jackson? I forgot he won the Heisman. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I completely blanked on that, mm. and then I'm like, where'd this guy come from? And I was like, oh yeah, you know who he is. He's like. Uh, He's Dude. been amazing. He's just been like <laughs> sitting in the background. He, he got passed up a lot. Uh, he I did. Mean, Baker Mayfield was picked before Lamar mm. Jackson. I mean, uh, mm. think about that. The Browns mm. could have had Lamar Jackson. I mean, ooh. Oh my God. But um, so my beer bet: if uh, I lose Baltimore minus ten, you can go uh, to market on Magnolia. You have to be watching the games there because you get a delicious Cigar City beer. Yeah, uh, they have a great bar with a full liquor bar, forty different televisions, three restaurants, mini restaurants. Uh, inside there. Uh, poke balls, uh, chopped salads and hoagies, uh, wood-fired pizza. I mean, wings, you know, yeah, yeah. everything covered. Uh, I went and watched the, uh, games with Matt, uh, who, by the way, I'm in the fantasy in the finals, play, uh, yeah. which I, he's got Lamar Jackson. It doesn't look good for yeah, me. I, all I could uh, hope for is that Tannehill has another great game. but hey, has, uh, could be. Could but be. anyway, so those are my bets this week. Um, if you want to follow the rest of my bets uh, throughout the year, I'll be talking about playoffs later, but uh, um, I'll put those up on the BDM Gambling page. So, uh, good luck! Hey! 
And we're back. Sorry, I was trying to deal with some BS in the old chat room. Welcome back to a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer, is here. Uh-oh, you're knocking things over, but, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. Big Tim is here. Uh, Seth Petrozelli's here. Butler's here. My wife is here. Uh, listener guests are here. It's the holidays. Uh, last show before the holidays? Yep. Yeah, yeah. For us? We are uh, just for everybody's She's for me? <laughs> knowledge. We're, uh, we got new BDM shows, Thanks, of sir. course. Uh, for both the Mondays, we're yes. off. But um, Samantha put together a really cool uh, naughty and nice best of. Uh, the naughty is going to play uh, next Friday. Uh, it's kind of uh, all the, uh, the AMT shows, BDM shows, uh, any of the shows that we curse on. Um, there's a best of that. And then there's a nice best of of uh, ACTs and gentlemen's guides and stuff yep. like that. Uh, the the naughty comedian interviews, things like that. So um, she did a great job, and <clears> that'll <throat> be the next two. Fridays, but we'll have BDM shows um, brand new, and uh, and then ACT will be two weeks of best of. Um, we rarely take a uh, time. Well, off Monday and... this upcoming Monday we have an hour of ACT. That's lo- that's uh, oh yeah yeah that's, that's new. Right. Yep. Um, so we don't talk about the thing. Is it bad to talk about? No, 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 I talk uh, about don't it. go to the internet, motherfucker. Uh, well, don't I don't know what it, what are we know. talking about. Oh, there was some um, in the chat we room, in the Twitch, over. Twitch chat room. Like all of a sudden, like people were just uh, typing in SSS spamming, or whatever. Spamming. They and mailed no, us a like, lizard. They were doing like a lizard. Okay. Oh. So know. what is that? Well, I mean, do s- you got so attacked by a bunch of nerds. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. what just yeah, yeah. happened. Uh, what I think they're doing is they're talking about they're mailing you a present that's going to arrive in two days. I think they might be pumping up for some new service denial attack they're going to try. Like, but we were saying while we were off air, these are the same motherfuckers who brought down Xbox. Live and PS Plus for a while or whatever. Cool. A couple years ago. <laughs> what is it? Lizard Squad? They're a loosely affiliated internet hacking group that, again, of anonymous people that do. Uh, they're part of things. Anonymous? Well, we don't no, no, own Twitch. They're, they're so, anonymous. But, we don't gotcha. own Twitch, so no, 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 please it's, hack it's, it and take it down. I don't give a fuck. It's not my uh, well, company. Well, but y'all make some fuck? good money from the Twitch and all. But not uh, enough to like do whatever you want. I don't I, give a fuck. Yeah. I, be listen, a lizard, I, lizard, lizard squad. Okay, lizard, y'all, y'all, right, y'all do great work. work. I respect everything you do. I don't give lizard, a fuck about you, them. You're a bunch of nerds. Please don't come after me. My name is Fred Yanati. My name is not Big Tim Murphy. You're a bunch of nerds. Come get me. Please don't invite the internet. Please, let's not. I'm with Daniel. Fuck the nerds. I don't even care. Like, why would you even waste time doing that? We didn't do anything to you. If there's anything I've learned today, it's like, what the fuck? Uh, Seth, up, how? Let's just be nerd. nice to each other. <laughs> Jesus well, Christ. Seth, Seth, why does everybody want to fight? Oh, man. Y'all heard. Well, I'm not right. Mm. I'm going to have to put in some two-factor notifications and stuff with the shit y'all are talking just in case. Big yeah. Tim's with us. Come yeah. get us, <laughs> motherfucker. His address is... Come with the Tim biggest Murphy. target. Big uh, Tim uh, says, uh, fuck you, Lizard Squad. He uh, works for Precision Door. You could probably find him. Precision Garage Door. Get, get Seth. He's uh, <laughs> the jungle. The jungle. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. I swear guys. to God, if they come after us and they leak my fucking gmails, I'll murder all of you. Travis Butler. <laughs> uh, Travis at tomandan.com. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. get him. Come get him. I will fucking. Yeah. Well, I will D. set your ass on fire, Tom. Seth, how many? No, he's not even American. If 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 you had fifty nerds <laughs> run at you at one time, could you kill them all? I mean, how big are they? Kid nerds? Are they like? Yeah, I mean, some of them are fat. I mean, they're stereotypical. I nerds. knew this would come up. I mean, yeah. Have to, There's, you'd have to even even guys that think they're athletic and work out mm. fight like shit yeah. usually in the street when it comes now, to how, how do you uh like because you could <laughs> be over flame? you know the matrix when Mr. Smith like over yeah. like you start <laughs> you start dogpiling on you dog piling's rough yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but then I start biting and grabbing balls. So. <laughs> oh you yeah. bite a you you would bite a nerd's balls? I would, <laughs> why the fuck not? If they're oh, yeah. if they're gonna dog if they're gonna, pile them? if touching oh. my head and make it more concussed than it already is, I'm fuck that, oh. I'll kill it. <laughs> You get yes, hit man. over the head with a nerd sword. My little, my one of my karate students, a little girl, not a little girl. She's oh. like, she's like twenty or something, twenty-one. Oh, she yeah, actually, that's called in your she actually, <laughs> Jesus Christ! She actually, you're, you're, you're she actually, age like what happens in your brain? Uh, like you're called little girls, twenty-year-olds. Well, what she's probably she's tiny. She's half to my age. Yeah, tiny. That's what I meant. So she's she's like tiny. Like, that's that's the jokes we do. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, she actually only put, <laughs> just barely nicked me because I'm going with her light, and I got I got my my adrenaline was like, I fucking punched her in the fucking. Oh, come on, man. Wait, wait, wait she goes, oh, she goes, oh, did I, did I did I hit yeah. you that hard? I'm like, no, but I was just being a sensei and showing you. Oh, yeah. oh, oh sensitive sensei. Well, yeah, yeah. but as, as a fellow that's had some TBIs, if you're going to try and fuck with my head with yeah, something, I'm going to fucking like just kill you, too. I'm not doing that bullshit. I get mad. Even when people come up and mess with me and just like, Shove my head a little bit. I get fucking angry. Did you get the? Did you get the? Did you get the rebound headaches from your DBI? I still have. 
Exactly. Fuck anywhere. that. They, when you get that goddamn post post traumatic concussion post syndrome and shit. <laughs> oh, fuck that. I've had uh, too many white. You calls guys a, need a show because yeah. there's a lot of. I find I'm finding a lot of common ground mm. between migraines are not a Big huge Tim Murphy oh, and please. Seth Petrozelli. We need to do a uh, shit shack. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they lived together for a week. Or oh, we talked with Olivia <laughs> Zealand. Or the hamburger hot dog bug. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about I put on my sex swing and see if Big Tim can hold it? Hold it. I, I, <laughs> if my construction's good enough for him, hey, hold him. I don't know if it will, friend. I'm pretty fat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One of them likes to eat, the other likes to eat ass. <laughs> it's the perfect Tim <laughs> podcast. One is a one, one is a zero. <laughs> That's what? not bad. What? Perfect ten. A one and zero. Uh, yeah, yeah. You have to stand on the other side of each other. Shall um, we move on? By the way, yo, one yeah, quick thing. Yeah, you yeah, brought up yeah. the sex Someone's swing. here. I'm not sure who it is. Mm-hmm. Someone's here. Dan's wife is here. What? <laughs> Tom Rhodes! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gun! He's got Remy! He's with Tom Rhodes! Tom Rhodes is part of the, <laughs> lizard. He's part of the lizard Squad. Oh, oh no! It's got oh, Dan's the it Lizard is. Squad. It's Remy, it's Tom Rhodes, and Russ Rollins! Ah! <laughs> Uh, so uh, give me, give me, give me two more shots, and I'll let them all know. Come on, um, all the secrets. Give me, give me, give me. So uh, last night I was at the Cimarron Skateway. Uh, oh, right. that's what everybody classy says. <laughs> So any winter park dad says, so I'm at the <laughs> Castleberry Simmer on Skateway and uh, I'm getting uh, na- cheese pumped onto my nacho chips. So uh, my mom got, got my potato skates on, got my son's new uh, skates for Christmas. Quads. Quads. Nice. But, but no, Quads. these are these are like newfangled. Like the back wheels are big. They're like a dragster, dragster. and the front oh, wheels are small. Oh, you got whoa. nerds. Here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, those are for babies. Oh, no, that's a new technology. A big dragster no, quad. Oh, that's yeah. for kids and kids. Yeah, skates. more like the F word stir. <laughs> <laughs> so, Do they make skates with trainers on them? Like, shoot I, I could hear the other boys say dragster, more like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so not going to say it. No, I got them the. <laughs> Disrespectful. I got them the. Uh, is, that 20, is, that, is that 2009? We're 2019. So, uh, anyway, this is my point. I, I've talked about this before. Last time I was there, I uh, they, so I'm there. In it, I'm in the. They've got a kids area, so you they go got, there a lot, huh? They've got the main. It was right by my house. I get, and the and uh, I can imagine co- the food there. Oh. In, in a quiet, cold night, I could hear <laughs> the music from the front door. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's how close it is. <laughs> so um, they've got a adult, like regular skating rink uh, that everybody you know two knows. Huffs, of. Two huffs. Then there's a kids area. <laughs> So I I talked about this before, but in it, it's still astounded me that nobody in the kids area had helmets on, um, and, and it didn't. It, it wasn't because I think everybody like kids should be skating didn't with you helmets. Jump grave digger a bunch of times unsafe. Yeah, yeah no, 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 I get what Tom's saying no, because no, people in, are over. But we never now. like just so you know, like I grew up skating, yeah. so like uh, any jokes that I'm making about this, like that was my yeah. life. Me and my god sisters would go up to the date. You saw it when we went to do the. The Christmas tree show, mm-hmm. that place that was called The Rink, I think it's called The Rink, Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, it used to be called Dayton Skate. That is, I spent more time there than any place in DeLand, yeah, like, yeah. as far as entertainment, and we, I, dude, no helmets ever. Well, of course, in the 80s, ever. no one wore helmets. Well, right. no, like, even late, uh, like, early 90s, like, no one yeah, ever, yeah. We, like. Still early 90s, long time yeah, yeah. ago. Oh, I know, but and, I'm just saying, no helmets, and ever. I've, I've with seen, all this lawsuits now, they, yeah. And, yeah. And I've seen this progression, like, even with the skiing, now everybody wears helmets when you recreationally ski. Even though, like, snow you know, is soft, but but but, 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 but ice is hard. I, I used to, I saw the progression, like, there was Write nobody back in like 2007, and in 2017, everybody wears helmets. Yeah. Like, so, and the, like, I think because skating at a skating rink is still kind of old fashioned, so people kind of just don't even yeah. think about it's it. Like it's, a helmet helmet on yeah. to, it's like putting a helmet on to ride a paddle boat. But in yeah. this day and well, age, no, and like, why it, would you do then that? Then you're just going into water. Okay. This you can slam your fucking head hard. Yeah, on. but but I did slam my head hard. I'm just saying that like a helmet. I've I've never seen a helmet at a skating rink. I know, I know. But I'm I, I ain't putting. I, of course, I'm not saying that you should. I'm saying I'm surprised in 2019, about to be 2020, that no one's putting their. Yeah, like, I agree. They put, that's they put weird, up the sign that says you can't sue us once you walk in or whatever. Yeah, but but, but everybody has those signs. But they think that works. I know, but they think it works. But if my kids. 
fucking skating ring. It's stuck in the 80s. If someone saw my kids riding a bicycle with no helmet, people would be like, oh, my yeah, God. What it's an animal. Like, they'd be like, this, these parents are uh, animals, That's and bullshit. they should be put Riding a bike without a helmet feels so good. <laughs> but, but so, it's, like, it's like fucking without a condom. They just changed the rules for karate. So 12 and under have to wear helmets. Now, back when I was, they didn't have to. But now... <laughs> probably for the best. Uh, I yeah, it's probably for the best. <laughs> Do you wear a just, helmet now? Well, for the last karate tournament, I put a helmet on, and I, no adults wear no adults wear helmets. None. So I have <laughs> <a laughs> <laughs> I have you like goo goo gaga. It's, <laughs> it's not only a helmet, but it's a karate helmet, which is regulation. So it's a foam fucking helmet. That's not. It's not one of the cool boxing helmets. But who the fuck's helmet. gonna tell you no? You well, can't wear a helmet. Well, this kid came up to me as this was like whenever I did three months you ago. Gay, bro. Like that. No, he goes, he goes, cool helmet, bro. He was like 18 or 19. Next like, time, look him dead his eyes like, uh, Then I had to tell him the story. Well, I had concussions because I was a professional fighter, and you, I don't want to. You deserve that. Dude, was, tell yeah, him Google, yeah, Google Junior say out and see how he turned out. I'm going to yeah, wear a helmet, exactly. all right? And be, because here's the, I'm sitting there watching kids, like, and these are like anywhere between like my son's age, like four, three, there was even younger kids, all the way up to like 10, 11, and they're rocketing across like this kid's area and what, in a manner that I can only describe in this sound effect where you're like so you are at any moment <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. your legs are going to rocket out from under you and your head is going to ricochet off of oh. a basketball it's, no, court it's gonna, <laughs> no it's not going to ricochet it's going to whip yeah. Yeah. it's going to whip yeah because you are go- I've done it you've done it you're an uh, awkward I split my head open at Dayton Skate there's an awkward lanky stick bug kids because you do this you go forward, you go, <laughs> backwards, you go, <laughs> 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 yeah. and you go, and I, that's Scooby sound check. <laughs> Dude, if that's you, exactly what it is. If you go to a zip line, you have to wear a goddamn helmet. Yeah. Like in this world, how also, is it? On top of just regular skating, ice skating. I watched a kid fucking split his entire chin wide open and yeah, yeah. bleeding all over the ice. Like, ah, you don't have to wear a helmet going oh ice my skating. God. I went surprised. ice skating with an ex-girlfriend. My wife's here. I'm going to be careful. Uh-oh. I went ice skating with an ex-girlfriend, and then her best friend came skating with us. And, like, I kid you not, 20 seconds into <laughs> skating, she rocketed <laughs> forward yeah, yeah. and, sp- and like, yeah. like smashed her face on the ice flat, mm. crushed her nose, broke yeah. it, blood everywhere. And I'm like, well, that's going to be the end. I'm like, mm-hmm. like, we're going to the hospital. That's it. We're done. But that's good. Ice skating, it's, no it's, help. It's I was like, we're not going to fuck tonight. I'm not going to get dinner tonight. Like, oh, I was yeah, like, this you, is fucking just like, terrible. I, am I living in the same world? <laughs> like, this is bizarre. When, when, I, when I was in middle school, I used to go to, uh, not Cimarron, but Goldenrod Skateway. Oh, and you're they a brave put in, man. They, they put in, well, I'm from the hood, friend. Uh, they put in a dance room. Yes. Oh my yes, God. I know the dance room. Oh, that fucking dance room is yeah. right. I, I is discovered that. that oh, champagne so, room. Kind of not great. So they put in like a dance club with air quotes, Ooh. and there was not supposed to be any grinding on there. But that was the first oh, time. Oh yeah. Well, ever, that the was the first time I ever a girl whipped my dick dance up with her ass. Crazy. Oh my god. Mm. I've seen the videos oh, my of the god. girls on the hoverboards. We got hover- wild in there, man. We got wild the, in there. The video of the girls on the hoverboards that are backing in and out of the porn stars. No, yeah, I've seen that. It's a better way of living. Oh, friend, I I saw them Puerto Rican girls I grew up with do some shit with their asses that I thought wouldn't. It defied the laws of physics, friends. Another. Hand. Big Tim's horny and drunk. <laughs> I'm not drunk, friend. I'm not in here. drunk. Not yet. I, I have caught a buzz, though, because I've had six white claws. Mm-hmm. Oh, I literally just saw two seconds ago you grab one and chug it, and then he just handed one like three seconds ago. <laughs> well, I did the tap. I did the tap. I did the tap. This is what you're going like to deal with when you're roommates. Day. You're going to be like, I'm taking out the recycling again. Mm-hmm. My alcohol tolerance yeah. is so goddamn high, I got to chug them or else I don't feel them. Um, hey, when the teens come over, put in your dress overalls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm doing, wearing I'm my just nice doing, ones. I'm doing dialogue. I'm wearing my nice ones. Let's let's go you mean back. The monogrammed. Let's see here. Uh, a couple. All right, more I wear the monogram from... when I live with. All right, Seth. we had the whole uh, Fifty Shades of Grey phenomena ah. that happened during this time. Which started as a fan fiction for what's that? The uh, Twilight. Mm. Yeah, was that how it started? Yeah, that yeah. is how it started. Remember My the, wife, the, hey, Andrea, you read all those books, right? All the Fifty Shades books. What'd you think? Did it get you? Uh, she did the, thumbs down. Come on, did, did, it get it, you, did, did it get you slimy? Come here. Did it make your bush drip? <laughs> come, on, come, on. <laughs> come here, come here, baby. Like, sli- like slimy? <laughs> we'll keep did you right. have a slimy bush? <laughs> hands, up, hands up, don't grow. Hands she up, doesn't don't grow. care. Dude. Oh, uh, tell me about it. Tell me about Fifty Shades. 
I mean, they're pretty graphic, but they're horribly written. Holy crap, you have a lot of hair. Oh, my God. What's uh, Beautiful. You look beautiful. Like, do they go into similar to, like, a Hustler? Uh, I've never read Hustler. No, oh, okay. I, uh, Hustler didn't do that penthouse How dare you say that? <laughs> yeah. You know what? You, you know get what? the that fuck out of here. inappropriate, sir. Yeah. Hustler, Thank you, hey, Sam. Why would, no, no, why no, would you know my no, business Tom partner... Tom Rhodes was right about you. Yeah, he was. Why would my business partner bring up Hustler? That that hustler to my wife. Ridiculous. To my wife. What are you going to do next? You want her to hold her pussy open? Like a V. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you wanted to piss on your face, sir? How dare you? Those How are, dare those you? Are I yield in. back. Those oh, are those are all things I've seen in Hustler, but I love Hustler. I yield back. I'm, I want to watch that too. Um, <laughs> uh, me too, kind of. So I mean, they graphically talk about. Like sex in a sex room, and like how she's putting balls in her vagina and walking around with them. Ben oh, that's yeah. just for kids. Like that, but, but Ben Wobble's are that fun video. as hell, though. I've seen that video where the black guys put the balls in the butthole, <laughs> put the dick in the pussy. And he's like, put the balls in the butthole. You ever seen that? <laughs> and then they pop out, they're like, <laughs> Yeah, I can't leave the volume on. Oh yeah, because I'm hiding. So everything's quiet. At least your penis works with my new. Oh, last night we tried. I got. I give you the prescription. We gave it a go. I gave my insurance card too. She's like, my gums are bleeding. I'm like, I'm sorry. And I have. I'm the person that has TMJ. And I'm like, oh my god, you are a trooper. Yeah, she is. Holy shit, that's a disorder. That's his father. Real, real Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I said, I said, we're done here. I do You're blood, a fucking hero. Blood mound look like a Dracula. I'm like, well, Jesus. Uh, I would just maybe keep just go flush your head in the toilet. I'm going to bed. It depends on the role play, but yeah. <laughs> oh no, pain is good. <laughs> look at how uncomfortable. You, you yeah, look very so like spent today. <laughs> if, if I, Tom Rhodes really gave it to him earlier. <laughs> yeah. If I if I didn't get a boner, it would be an insult. I was uh, my Crystal would be like, "Fuck you for like attacking me for oh, uh, with not coming." No, no, we're no, yeah, I, owner, I get a boner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just when you don't finish, I can't finish. Yeah. It's a personal insult. Uh, because but I'm like not a, sexy enough. For yeah, you. Yeah, 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 it's, like a, it's like a Polish person not burping after the meal. You know. But well, Andrew, but sometimes, but sometimes you're stressed out, baby. You know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, once your medicine don't like, mean, levels out, it'll be okay. Well, yeah. that's why I got the Viagra prescription in my pocket. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, I will. No, it's going to like counteract with your medicine, and you're going to be a crazy person. Oh, I get so nervous about that. I take it like I distance it apart from my other medication to make sure it doesn't like mess with the why are you mm-hmm. sucking the mic it went close to my mouth <laughs> why yeah. did you do it like <laughs> I was picturing what was happening with you guys last night. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's Jesus. really... You're horny like I am, all right? I drive you crazy, don't Remember I? when everyone thought the end of the world was going to happen because of the Mayan calendar in 2012? Nah. Remember when yeah, everyone yeah, stupid 12. as fuck thought that yeah, was going to yeah, happen? that was a thing that everyone freaked out they about. Literally, so they true. literally based that on fellas stopping writing a calendar that was like hundreds of years in the future. Right. Mm. And they're like, oh, it's got to yeah. be when the world ends. Not like, that's when he stopped doing it because he got bored. That's all that was based on. Yeah, what that was Harold Camping. Uh, different. Uh, he he was a big proponent of that. Harold Camping is a fellow that did a doomsday cult church. Oh yes, yes testing yes. my memory just to make sure. Uh, to make Yolo sure. was a thing. Yeah, in the 2010s. Yolo. Mm. Might as well Yolo gonna end the world in 2012, right? Yeah. Still say yeah. Duck lips. Became popular uh, in the, the 2010s. I, you know what? I'm on. I'm on the wrong side of this. I actually think duck lips are kind of hot. No, no, here, yeah. do a little bit. A yeah, little but bit. are you talking about actual duck lips? Both <laughs> <laughs> ducks. Ducks don't actually Both. have lips. But. Your wife posted something that she points with her lips. Oh no no that's uh Latin I think Hispanic that, uh, yeah, people, I think yeah. that was but Hispanic. She said she does. Your wife posted a very racist meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't talk about my wife's racist meme. <laughs> I saw it. I go. I, I, I don't know if they talked about it. I saw about I saw her shitting it. I was like. Ew. I thought I took it as she does that. She said I can relate to this or right, something. So I yeah, felt yeah, like yeah, she yeah. does that. Like oh, she yeah. does. Now she's she culturally from Miami though, right? Yeah, it's like when certain races take all the jobs and you're like, I can relate to this. But she's from fucking Miami. Man, it's she's not from I know, America. I know. All right, I know. Uh, uh, Bruce like. Jenner transitioning into Caitlyn Jenner. Jenner. That happened in the twenty ten. Am I the only one that likes him better as Caitlyn? I did, didn't care either I way. Like to be I I've heard him. he's a dick, or she's a dick. I've heard that. Yeah, as you well. gotta say she. But, uh, they, they, I, me and Daniel were convinced, and we had this conversation <sighs> at Publix one did. day. We're standing in line, and we're there like, was an man, we're, we're, fine. we're treading on danger. Cancel ground with turf stuff. No, 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 no. We're not because this is like like we've. We've had two of these instances. One was the the lady that was the seamstress in the jail. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. who those two prisoners escaped, and and she was fucking both of them, and she helped them escape. Remember that? Well, that one guy had that great big old and dick, it though. tore her family apart, and we were like, leave her alone. She never did that. She did. <laughs> <laughs> and then and this one, we were like, leave him alone. Yeah. He's a goddamn Olympian, <laughs> yeah. and he's well, not a woman, was- and you motherfuckers are... Crucifying it. it was on the, uh, that he's a show of him transitioning. Yeah, I know. Well, it was on the National Enquirer. We get right? everything and, wrong. And then, well, well, you can't believe anything the fucking National Enquirer comes out with. The National Enquirer is real bad. Uh, uh, Not to get uh, okay, there, they're oh, real bad. And, and then, so they, they're like, he's. But getting, sometimes it's true. Right? I know, I know. So. He was getting out of his SUV, he had longer hair, and they're like, Bruce Jenner's transitioning into a woman. Like, Leave him alone, my God. Just yeah. Yeah. We were standing right over here. We had, just just built right. This, we had just built this studio, and Tom and I were like, I was the same way, too. We were like, Leave him alone. Jesus Christ, you guys are crazy. You're eating him alive. This kind of and, and, and sure enough, he was transitioning. It's good di- for him. And now, now he's eating dick. Or good for you. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, he's actually, no, a woman. I, think he, I think she he's goes a, for women. Like she, I think yeah, she's, she's a, a she's yes. a she's a lesbian or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just be you, oh. man. Whatever makes Let's you happy. Which is her man. being her. I mean, but I gotta tell you, man, it made me think a whole lot different when trans people was like, if you're gonna go from a rich, old, white, famous man. To be a woman, <laughs> like, right? How you gonna yeah. give up old rich white man? Like, right. That's like that's right. the well, fucking that, goal. That's almost that's that's a great example of Perfectly it's not said. a choice yeah. because that's when you're coming goal, from a rich white man and you're <laughs> choosing rich, to be transgender, man. Yeah. you know. Also, well, let's, <laughs> be, let's, let's, let's also, also be serious. She only went like oh half a step down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it also makes, she's still rich and famous too. Yeah. So yeah, if you were like if you became a black person, then then I'd be like okay. Let's not get on that. Let's let's see it. So yeah, other things happened in 2008. Uh-huh. No, yeah. I'm just saying, like Harambe why, why memes. Why would oh, you Harambe. remember when that was everywhere all the time? Harambe memes. <laughs> that, that was the gorilla yeah, the zoo killed, right? that, uh, got that got killed. Got killed. I did. Well, know. he did pick up that kid, and he might have wanted to take care of it, but he also might want to just kill it. I feel him. like no, the parents should have done some time it. here, uh, yes. but that's my personal opinion. Like, how did your fucking kid well, get but, into well, this okay. goddamn gorilla? In, in playing devil's advocate again. In split second shit, I before I had anything to do with kids to get into a fucking gorilla uh, I'm cage. I'm telling you, Sam. I, I thought that fucking the shit they put on toddlers with a leash and all was like that's what the fuck are you doing? But literally, kids are the fucking worst at just escaping. Mm. Did you, you turn your kids on leash? for a minute? <laughs> no, I never no. put my kid on a leash, and she Did never you? has escaped. No. Well, or crawled into a gorilla. Your your kid is your kid is different and special, mm. and I'm glad you guys are so great parents. But sometimes well, I would think the majority of kids don't crawl into. Well, a all right, but it, t- it literally uh, took that Star kid thirty. At work, the kid it, probably wouldn't have lasted. Well, it, it took that kid thirty seconds, and fucking fuck Darwin. He was a racist piece of shit. His that whole fucking now Darwin's racist. No, he. It was, no, literally, no. It was. It, Everyone so it, was racist back then. No, no, no. But the show. fucking his Uh-oh. whole thesis is it's happening. The show is. <laughs> this is the show. No, no it's. Gonna be, I, I'm going. No. But it's literally I don't called like. Between like them. There's. They cut off. They edit it now. But it was a uh, evolution and race. Like it's a whole. He was a racist piece of shit. Mm-hmm. What about uh, Instagram? That started in 2010, which wow. was on my iPhone only for so long. That piece of shit. No. It is still. You can't post from what? a computer. No, what well, you can take it on Android though. Uh, I can. Huh. Is okay. I heard someone talk about uh, social media, <laughs> and they were they were saying that uh, <laughs> they don't believe that it's even possible now for another social media entity to grow as big as the established ones are no, now. It'll happen because right. things are too fractured. No, um, it'll happen. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass to start all over again. Like, well, because their yeah. whole point. Well, it won't be for you. It'll be for the younger generation. Was, remember Google Plus? Seriously, the other Google one? Plus. Yeah, the people that profit off it. Well, that, yeah. that's done now, right? They, right that's yeah. gone. I, I listened to. A podcast where they had like a uh, a person that you know follows technology her whole life writes about it, I think in New York Times or something, and she was talking about Snapchat was the last successful social media entity that launched and was able to garner enough followers to make it relevant. Well, and TikTok's doing pretty TikTok good, but, t- is, yeah. but TikTok is also a Chinese government fucking thing to steal our information, though. Well, I don't know how oh, really? big I TikTok. Know TikTok's big, you know, TikTok's huge. owned partially by the Chinese government. Um, so, hmm. and they were also saying that, like, uh, you know, Twitter was uh, in trouble for a little bit. They were, like, financially in trouble. They People still don't make any fucking money. Yeah, I, but I think they do off of Not real. Now, right? Not really, no. There's 500 million TikTok users. Whoa! And they just launched in 2016. So they're Ooh. doing they're doing fine. But again, though, they're supported by the Chinese government, and they can take some losses, and they're literally set up as a way to steal some of our info, though. 
Is that real? Yeah, and, uh, I mean, uh, Google it, friend. I mean, you can look into this. And that, I can Google not, anything I'll say. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reputable sources, the Chinese government has a controlling stake in it. Look at what happened to that TikTok girl that did the uh, the shit about Hong Kong that got banned. Oh, yeah. She was ran over by a freaking tank. No, mm. not yet. The, the tank man thing, that dude, he's fucking dead as shit. The people that picked him up in the tank man no picture, by the way, uh, they killed him. Those, 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 what those happened? Are, so tell yeah, me, you, you and I are like, what I'm not drunk. Slow down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not I drunk. I, I, I have a buzz, I know what I'm no, talking no, no, about. I'm not calling you drunk. I'm just like, everyone square. slow down. Yeah. I don't All know right, what's so happening. The famous tank man picture that he's referencing, right? I was referencing Tiananmen Square. I have no idea. The tank man picture from Tiananmen Square, where a guy wears shopping bags stopped a column of tanks. Mm. So China, you can't Google the date of Tiananmen Square. You can't Google Tiananmen Square. All of it's censored because they had that great firewall thing, right? So that Hong Kong protest that happened recently, right? Uh. A girl made a, a very viral TikTok referencing Hong Kong and she got fucking deleted because it's owned by the Chinese government. Okay. So the the tank man thing, though, if you if you see what happens after he after that picture, people shepherd him off. Those people that shepherd him off are probably Chinese intelligence, and that's why we don't know the identity of him. That's why we've never heard from him before. If he got spirited out of the country, he definitely would have got talked about. That's why we still don't know who the fuck he was. So he's been gone for a while. He's been gone since that day. The like people he erased that, his wow. existence? Uh, we just don't. We have no fucking clue who he is. <clears throat> Uh, what if he walked in? He's like, I'm the, <laughs> I'm the grocery bag guy. It's Tom Rhodes. <laughs> if he did, if he wanted, I think to it's this guy. Yeah. <laughs> if he wanted me to suck his dick, I'd suck his dick. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Well, you want to do a couple more? One more. One more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else we got? Uh, one more. I'll do Me Too movement. Uh, no. Someone mentioned it in the chat that oh, men Way to realize, lighten it up. Why do I have to talk about all these controversial bullshit they, things? Is, <laughs> what about the double down? Are we fucking uh, duck lips and Farmville and shit in because here? Because everything's can we political, talk about especially some when it's not shit? political. Uh, what Seth? about the double down KFC sandwich in 2010? I ate four of them. <laughs> Did you really? Uh, I ate four in a how row. How long have you been waiting to talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> the whole you, fucking show. The, that's all I had was for KFC, 10 years, KFC way double way down show. It. Did you fucking whip yourself when you were done like a fucking dais? Uh, no, I might have vomited a little bit. double There was a few sandwich trends in the chicken sandwich. I, Popeye's I, chicken. Uh-huh. You know what? Don't fuck my wife too. And co- <laughs> what? Jesus what? Christ! What I don't think you got to worry about because I know you get down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> point is, chicken sandwiches have come a long way in ten years. That's literally you know what? That's, that's, you know that's what? the only thing I had prepared. It is my podcast. I have not done it well because my truck doesn't run. But that literally is the only thing I prepared is chicken sandwiches. You know what else has come a long way in ten years? Has gone from like the total nerdiest vegetable to the like, the most popular awesome thing. Mm. Cauliflower. <laughs> Cauliflower is fucking super hated versatile. cauliflower. Who the yeah. hell? You love cauliflower? cauliflower? No, but now cauliflower <laughs> rice, cauliflower mashed potatoes, cauliflower flour. It's like, super versatile. <laughs> oh, you can do anything with cauliflower now. It's can like you new. hear what I hear? <laughs> I, I tried to fuck this vegan girl. She was super into cauliflower. So, what? Into Why do you put yourself in the position? <laughs> hey, my favorite vegetable is cauliflower. That's not what I said. I it's said the best. It's, it's, it's the best vegetable. I said it's gone from total shit vegetable nerd to like total awesome that you can do anything with. It's still <laughs> shit. <laughs> Everyone Everyone's trying to help. That. That's not just a thing. Is it real? Well, you fuck off, everyone. PF, PF Chang's is selling it now instead of rice. You can get cauliflower rice instead of rice. If, it's like if I, if I had Tommy Carrot Fingers, I'd be like, my, I love carrots. <laughs> like, no shit. Carrot Fingers. It's <laughs> a super versatile vegetable. <laughs> Listen, we're not going to have meat in 20 years, assholes, because the world's on fire. See? You better get ready for it. The show is no shit, Karen Fagan. I'm going to shit my pants. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. We're too uh, crazy. Wrap it up. We're, we're wrapping it up. up. We're wrapping it up. We have to do it live. This, this is, is the, this this is the pre-show. Out. We have to do a whole show next. We have What show are we doing next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't talk about it. Cauliflower pizza. Cauliflower tots. There's so many things. Are you blood-eyed from the thing this morning? What? No, his eyes, eyes get red because he's addicted now, to marijuana. <laughs> no, I, no, I'm addicted to eye drops, and if I don't take them, uh, this happens hey, in my Travis, eyes. Hey, Travis, hand me another white cloth. Just don't <laughs> put them in your eyes. I had to buy, my wife had to buy me eye drops on the way to her company Christmas party. 
yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were like, oh, so I, red, they were like, they were, yeah, and yeah. then I got there, and then half the time, like the whole Good night, my legs hurt everybody. me so bad because the whole night I had to balance because uh, I kept <laughs> swaying back and forth. Go put water in his face at my Christmas party. Yeah, I was like, you're too fucked up, man. And I was, <laughs> <laughs> and then the next Monday, everybody's like, man, I really liked your husband. I really would love to hang out with him. He's again. a charming like, guy. Yeah, I just want to point out that Big Tim is nine white claws down right now, <laughs> <laughs> and one fuck two shots, one shot. <laughs> Jesus one fucking Christ. <laughs> He's a big we boy. I drink two shot. and I get like... Wait till you start partying with pussy. him. I don't know. In your pool. I can After drink this, probably 30 of them, man. Really? They, 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 oh, I got a big tolerance. Shit. I'm a big boy. That's his, insane. His liver's the size of Ryan's dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. You're kidding me. I mean, I could probably drive home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's, no, uh, don't fuck them. it's like a one day quill. It's like Andre the, it's like Andre the Giant finishing a quarter K by yeah, himself. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's, it's awesome. fine. It's actually real sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. You guys want a holiday off the rails? You got it. Uh, Do we have to wrap up though? Because I'm already here. Fun Friday. Fun Friday. Two hours. I say we wait till the Uber <laughs> arrives. Then we can stop filming <laughs> after his no, Uber arrives. Because uh, I want to see this. <laughs> get in an Uber? You want to see him die? No, <laughs> no I want to see him get an Uber with that chick and like yeah. the cancer tit chick. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. That's his wife Jesus. now. How <laughs> dare you? Well. I thought of her very motherly. I don't want to. Fucker. Oh, uh, all right. Um, I feel like we uh, did a lot of. This good is the worst <laughs> day of my uh, broadcasting career. <laughs> this is. Uh, I feel like it's this, not your fault. This in the chat rooms on my side. This whole day counteracted all the charity we did. <laughs> it really did. I mean, like. Oh, by the way, your scratch offs are in the mail. Yeah, you yeah, bought yeah, yeah. the uh, Yellow Brick Road scratch yeah. off. You know what? Your scratch offs are in the mail. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm mad at everybody's <laughs> mad. Happy holidays, we're all mad. I'm trying to have a fun Friday. Yeah. Fighting. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> you didn't call me back, you motherfucker. Yo, fuck you. You got one phone call. Uh. What a fucking weirdo. Can I put out? I want. <laughs> Seth is mad. Everybody's what mad. What are you going to put out? Show everybody your inappropriate shirt you uh, that I bought you that you wore. I love this shirt. I put out for Santa. I put out for no, Santa. No, I put out cookies for Santa. Oh. Cookies? Yeah. I, I bought well, it drunk. The words I don't, don't count. I bought it drunk. don't count as words. No, I, I wanted to say I want people to bid on me when it comes to time. For yeah. the yellow brick, you, you got a pot sweetener. You got a pot sweetener. I do have a pot sweetener. Oh, what are you gonna do? Are we you taste your pot sweetener. We taste your cookies. <laughs> I'm, gonna, oh I'm gonna God. throw it out there right now, so s- people can look at Cookies is code word for pussy. I, I figured that out. What, what is that? You this fucking is, pervert, Seth. Oh, that's you trimming your bush and putting it in an envelope. The clippings in an envelope. Calm, calm. I'm doing the pot. Oh my God, Bill here. Okay. Hey, you missed one. Hold on. Hmm. Before you, you missed one, my, my biggest, I wrote it down, Smollett. <laughs> oh, Look, I had more. You, you told me to shut it down. You told me to shut it down. Why did you the No, because it was like, it was so, like, it's it, weird. He's not, back, by the way. I don't know if you yeah. know this. He's going to be on the finale. He's going to be on the finale. Uh, what is that show? Uh, Power. Empire. Yeah, Empire. 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 Really? Empire. 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 got some balls yeah, yeah. to try to do that. Uh, not liked by a lot well, of people. Well, they're doing it. It's not him. Yeah. No, yeah, no, it's a day. But fuck the Chicago PD. They had a goddamn black site where they renditioned people and tortured them. Fair. So fuck them. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're, um, following I'm that, Cosby in it. I'm going to announce it'll my work pot one sweetener. Time. After oh, that, get <laughs> my wife's going to announce her pot sweetener. My pot sweetener for the foot golf uh, tournament. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you guys are gonna have the highest rated podcast of all time. My God! I apologize, like, Andrea. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to distract all from over your pot sweet. It's like I didn't pins. mean to. I didn't mean to. I promise. Beauty and obese. <laughs> That's the name of the show. God I, got I almost pissed my pants. I got the show. That's probably what That's would make really me right. famous. Beauty and obese. <laughs> Okay, um, it's Central Florida, like the things I love that are from here in Central Florida. Mm. So I have stuff from Corksicle, I have stuff from Rifle Paper, I will have stuff from oh, Gideon's Rifle Bake Shop. Stuff. Shit, yeah. I gotta so, set my game up. Yeah, she's so, got, she's got, got some, bad ass. You got some fucking hipster ass so, shit, baby. Yeah, she's but got I love some, it, it's she's all from stuff. Central Florida. She's got so. some yeah. limited edition Corksicle shit that hasn't even been released yet that she wants to put in this oh, pot sweetener. Ooh. Yeah, she's got it's some Rifle Paper rifle paper stuff that's like really, really legit. So I would say... I have nothing, I I don't know. I'll just Bid not to be return on my call. <laughs> January 18th. Yeah, it's in Sanford quickly. Mayfair uh, they, Country Club. Are people uh, 
bidding now? Okay. No, yeah, yeah. No, It'll no. start. Um, I believe the 27th. 27th. We're start but Andrea is a planner. Shit, I'm, so I'm, I'm a planner, I so I already have my stuff. Pot. I never have anything to sweeten the pot. I need to do something. So it'll be, how do you not have anything to sweeten right. the pot? What like, can I give besides free personal my personal training? <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> like, my, you eat your wife's ass. <laughs> <laughs> if, if yeah. Out with I'll you totally or... cuck your husband if you Yeah. Wait, what's that? There's, a, there's at least 20 people that would like that. Really? I believe. All right, okay. she's Ch- a hippo. Tom got his wallet out. He's like, yeah, stop it. I do nothing to you guys. Hey, uh, one conspiracy theory while we're off the rails. Pete Buttigieg, who's running for president, is probably a CIA agent. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? 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 That's not right. him. Big Tim's <laughs> drunk conspiracy no, theory. No, I'm not drunk. I'm, from... I'm buzzed, though. I will admit I'm no, buzzed. No, I think drunk conspiracy theories is a new segment we're doing for 2020, right? Let's do it, friend, as long as I don't have to drive. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're not on the clock. So the yeah. guy that's, the pre- that's running for president is named mm. po- Pete Buttigieg, right? His name's Buttigieg. He's Sabo Dabba Dabba. He's a, he's, he, he, he's a little gay fellow, but he used to work for uh, the cons- <laughs> get, uh Okay, I'm right here, Tim. Right? I'm right here. Oh, you're not gay. We oh, know okay. that, friend. You might be on the spectrum yeah, of the yeah. sexuality, but you ain't gay. No, uh, I'm just, I'm not gay, but, you know, in a bitch, if there's no women around, I'm getting out of here. Yeah. All right. Again, <laughs> again, again, it's going to happen. Again, Something's getting fucked. Again, again straight but not narrow. I, I understand. <laughs> Point is, though. He's the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, mm-hmm. and he's basically just a goddamn plant for the fucking CIA. Uh. He worked for a consulting group that one of their biggest things they did uh, that I just find apprehensible <laughs> was they consulted for the... Uh, oh, thank you for being a white call, Travis. No, that's for me, <laughs> no. was, for, was for the Border Patrol. They figured out a way to cut cost. At the detention camps. And one of the ways they figured out was they could do less calories. And it's just terrible. But he's probably a CIA agent because he, he signed the NDA. Why does voice go up? Because, I'm, because I've been drinking a little bit. And I, I drank a little bit before I got here because I had some at home. <laughs> but, <laughs> Tim, calm down. Calm. Instead of, black, about instead of black Christmas this year, we got redneck Christmas. I'm just saying he's probably a CIA agent because he worked for a group that is basically a front for the CIA. And he did some shit in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and like he talks about he was in a safe house. Everything's terrible. It's all mm. bad. We're fucked, period. Trump's probably not going to leave office. We're probably going to have... It's, it's, it's bad. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Buy, it's fine. Buy multivitamins. It's fine. Play the Christmas music. <laughs> <laughs> Buy multivitamins. <laughs> Everybody say what they're thankful for. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty thankful for this past day. Did you get your wife a new... What? Did you get your wife a new uh Don't say IUD? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Donut? Why are you doing I'm my girls out for Christmas? It's an audio format. You no, do I'm that asking him, did he get his, your wife a new frame? No, frame? no, no, no. no. Dude, why not? <laughs> why you fuck up so much time? <laughs> Too expensive. He's gonna steal your wife. No, no. Big, look at him, he's got the fucking Big come get your V. I paid Big for my gr- drunk and just said to you, why you'll fuck up your wife? Very Asian y. That's what I got my girlfriend for Christmas. I paid for a doctor visit to get her IUD taken out. Wait, what? 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 You just I, IUDs, so. How much does that cost? Uh, <laughs> just a doctor uh, visit. It's like 40 bucks. <laughs> no, it's yeah. a good insurance. Hey, motherfucker. It's a copay. She's got good insurance. Yeah, copay. That's what I mean. Wait, that's the bucks. thing. That it's, it, it's grabbing the wall. Yeah, it clamps yeah, out of the side. Tea. It hangs on it's for like a Why would you want her to get it out? You want to get her pregnant? I'm ready to have a kid. I don't know. Life. Yeah, she was kind of iffy about it. Do not ruin this young woman's uh, life. I would ruin her life. She'd be st- the kid would be set. How long, no, you, <laughs> how long have you been she dating? Be, the kid will be mentally probably fucked up for me <laughs> fathering it, but it'll be That's fine. Set. You gotta do it. Oh, for the love of Being God. A dad financially, it'll be fine. This is why the world yeah. is But financially, it's nothing. It's all emotional, man. Uh, I'm emotionally fine here? with a kid. All right. Oh, you oh, I'm scared of you. you. My, oh, they started yelling at each other. <laughs> I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to, baby. Oh, I promise. It's just, <laughs> I just don't want to see him ruin somebody else's life. She's, Thank she, you. She's just scared. Two people. That woman's going to be, that woman's probably half My wife got scared when She's not, Seth got she's... a boner. <laughs> I'm a pacifist, <laughs> goddammit. Seth will be fine. He's rich. He, uh, he's good. Yeah, he's rich. good. I'm well off enough to like take care of a kid. Can you yeah, put yeah, a yeah. car seat in a uh, what car? In a, bloody, in a bloody Hellcat. <laughs> Why is it bloody? Did she agree to have a baby with you? Did you no. manipulate this girl? Where it's you the first time. Uh, no, it was just, I 
No, I just I'm gonna start pulling out because I don't wear condoms. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> if pulling out works, would be no it's, Irishman. It's worked for ten years of my life. No, it is not. Mm, I, I agree with that. There's yeah. so many bad? Irish people to pull out. <laughs> no, it's fine. You're it's gonna get that girl pregnant that so works. fast. It does work. Right. Yeah. I know you, exactly. You guys sitting on the couch together is my favorite <laughs> picture of the show. Pulling out does not work. It's not super effective. You're gonna have a baby. Oh, it's been effective. I'm gonna put it up there, sir. I've been through. The past 10 years, I've had three, uh, a marriage, a divorce, uh, sleeping on my friend's couch, and two failed fiancés, and I've done no kind con- Yeah, never so let's a have a baby. Before. That'll make it So better. let's fucking uh, put a baby in this mess? Yeah, that makes everything better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not, guys, I'm sure not going to do that. I'm just, Every, if, I'm just saying it. I'd rather. Oh, my God. The reboot. Hormones. Two men and a baby. <laughs> Uh, oh, I can't. No. I can't wait till Seth has a baby. So uh, like, oh. He's gonna hire me as a nanny, like yeah. you should have. Because if there is a else. god, it will be a girl. <laughs> oh no! Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There will be. Sweet, sweet redemption. You can pay to get it. Spot. You know how nice I am. How you sweet can pay I am. to get it. Just here, the celebrity no, do it. You can. You can I, choose the gender. I, now. I love the I, idea of like Big Tim is. Is Seth's nanny? I'm gonna he's my like, I gotta go to the gym and teach him classes. And mm. then Big Tim's at home and he's holding the baby. Yeah. And then With the girlfriend's so there. Uh, you know? be, I'd make him my godfather. Oh, this is <sighs> dumb. Please this don't is put great. that on me because I'll take it seriously. If something happened to you, I'd raise that baby the best I could. Well, until oh, I take I my commitments too serious, man. That's a, no, until you're a good man. Kids like uh, the babysitter fell asleep on the couch. I heard him snoring loud, and then it just stopped. <laughs> two, two things, motherfucker. His face two was things. It, though. <laughs> two things, daddy, daddy. The babysitter ate two bowls of ramen with That's croutons and yum yum sauce, and All he right. died. <laughs> That's probably more realistic. I won't fall asleep because I got too much access to meth. Oh, okay. And secondly, oh, let me get some of that meth. Mm-hmm. I got the doctor meth. That's great. Mm-hmm. But secondly, I'd say awake with his kid around. But I tell you what, I would steal a bunch of shit from his house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude, <laughs> steal from my house. <laughs> Like any idiot. Actually, I can't say anything bad. The last <laughs> everybody knows yeah, that. Yeah, everybody. What are you, an idiot? I can't say you're, you're rich. Yeah, the I'm last, the last BDM I had over to do some stuff in my house stole my fucking Xanax. So I can't <laughs> Wait a minute. Tell me who it was <laughs> off air. Oh, tell I'm me not, who it was off air. Fucking scumbags. Please man. tell me. I was so fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> They stole your Xanax? What the fuck? I blinded them. Were they bars? Were they bars? They're not bars. My they're bars. bars. And, they're bars. I and, I get them, bars. and they're for my fucking plane flights because I freak out. So I go well, in. If you need them, friend, I got I got access to it. Literally, they're, they're dying right now. Two days at my house. Like, <laughs> I go to get them for my trip and they're gone. If that ever happens again, let me know. I always got you on Benzo. I know. Who it was. was it your I guy? I will be a Mercedes. Yeah, if it was, it was your guy. How the fuck you should bring him in? I hide my Xanax because I need to do my medicine. I can't trust the PD and let's steal all my You gotta keep it in your underwear. I had it back behind a lot of things. No, you know the the trick I used to have to do with my uncles. So when I when I got my medicine that they would want to take, I would put it in the bottle for the heart pressure medicine. Oh yeah, yeah. I put it in the blood pressure medicine. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, you're gonna forget that I have it in there. Take a Xanax instead of my multivitamin. There's something be said for that I have done that occasionally I've accidentally uh, dosed myself and it's been a weird day all right it's oh, fine yeah, it's, it's time. We, we you need to go. call it it's we, like it's, it's like when the body's been left on the table <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah for so long <laughs> and but you're going, only dead when you're really dead we call I'm, it? I'm like the doctor sweating <laughs> I'm trying to keep him I'm like Tom yeah. Tom yeah, 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 it's yeah. not worth it there's a difference I'm between, slapping his face like, come on there's a difference like between clinically dead don't leave me there's a difference between clinically dead and real dead it's real dead now yeah that was fine we've done it all yeah. right. Um, so, uh, Tim, what do you got to promote? Plug, here? plug some stuff. There. there you go, man. Hey, it's finishing his twelfth. <laughs> <laughs> it's only my tenth. You piece of shit. My bad. Uh, Get him, Tim. He I'm at the Orlando Improv on the twelfth of January. Mm. Uh, Ooh, I'm in three? Sanford at the West End Theater, which maybe. is not the West End, but a different place. The Wayne January. Dinge Theater. Yeah, what, what maybe. Okay. Mm-hmm. This fella booked it. And it's going to be a shit show. I'm with David Jolly and D Rug. Oh, what day is this? I don't know, like the third or the fourth. I saw that poster. I laugh and laugh. Oh, it's a bad poster. (laughs) And that fucking guy won't text. He only wants to call. And it's like, I don't want to fucking talk to you. But I need the money. Isn't that annoying when people call? We have text now. I don't want to talk to you. Well, here's the thing. I've got traumatic brain injury. I don't have the best memory. I need to reference the conversation we had. If you call me, I might not remember the shit you told me. Mm. So you got to message me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preferably on Facebook. And that way I can reference back on it. Mm. This way I know who the fuck you are. 
Because really, if I don't keep a chart in my brain, like, I don't remember people. Mm-hmm. That's fine. A 45 pound weight knocked me in the back of the head and into my skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 no worries, Big Dad. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <there it> <laughs> Buy a garage door, drink White Claw, Pyro Spot, I don't know, all that shit. <laughs> Pyro <Pirate> Spot. <laughs> Uh, Samantha, Are you still Bedford. doing your podcast or not? I haven't done one since the truck runs because honestly, my dog is an albatross <laughs> that reminds me of a failed relationship, and she's just stuck. And I'm stuck with this fucking hateful ass goddamn dog that won't leave me the fuck alone. And I'm not emotionally there. Hey, you keep with the fucking. You're so small. I could fucking. I'm not doing it. He's got angry. Now. I, I could crush oh, you. He's, t- he's taking a turn. I'm not, oh, he's not oh, getting a turn. I'm, not I'm, I'm scared because Seth could take me, but I could oh, definitely ruin his life. I would definitely. Oh, Do you honestly, think if you sat on Seth's chest, he could get up? Oh God! Yeah, he could. He probably think? could. Seth is uh, Seth. Like if is you the, pinned your knees onto Seth, his arms, Seth is the only person here that could stop me in one-on-one combat. <laughs> He's the only person here. But, I don't know. I think I could. Tim. No, I could get you. But what I do is I just swat. I just swat. <laughs> Swap the shit me. sounds make this feel like I'm being made fun of a little bit. <laughs> but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Travis, we have another white claw. Aww. Why fun, is it? Friday, fun, <laughs> Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday, fun Friday. And when Big Tim left, he died of, di- <laughs> of diabetes. I don't have diabetes yet, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, you don't have liver beans. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. You know what? Low just, hanging um, fruit. Why are, why are our, our last two show of the year always insane? Like but this? while we were set up with, we had to have fun because we had an awkward. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that said at the beginning on, good. in Stand the morning. Up, beer, but also, you, you got to go out with a bang, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Shit. 2020, uh, here we come. Yeah, I know. Um, well, uh, listen to Semantics. Um, <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon. Um, and uh, also, go work out the jungle at the beginning of the year. Sign up for my Patreon so I have more yeah. patron members than Tom Rhodes. <laughs> Don't talk about yeah, it. Good new, we are doing New Year's resolution deals right now. <laughs> the jungle. And you hook up BDMs. And, uh, oh, of course yeah. I hook up BDMs. As long as you don't steal my Xanax. <laughs> 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 did, he, did he take them all? Did he leave the pill thing? Yeah. No, he took the whole bottle. The entire bottle is gone. That's me. No, you just take a mean. couple. I you gotta leave two for fucking no, somebody. Yeah. I you gotta leave two. I even had to call my doctor. You gotta leave two. I call my buddy knew you leave two. He's right. No, I God damn two. it. I had to call my doctor and explain oh. to him because he just gave them to me. And there was a thirty day supply. I'm like, look, you know I'm not a fucking zanny head. They were taken from my house. Oh, he's heard that one before. Oh, hey, yeah. Falcon Bar tonight. Yeah, so Falcon so I was going to say, Bar, pint Bar. night tonight at Falcon Bar. I believe yeah. it's 8 p.m., right? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Butler's going to be out there. He's going to have some pint the glasses. Is in Thornton Park? Yes, yeah, Thornton Park. Yeah, it's nice. Yep. Nice yeah. bar. My stomping grounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a fun place. You should go. Oh, so, yeah, I won't be there, but you should go. Butler's bringing pint glasses to give away BDM pint some glasses. Swag. Swag yeah, if you're a BDM, get some free stuff. If you need somewhere to park, you can park at my house. All right. But you got to know where I live. Why the fuck do you invite that? Because I can find your address pretty fast. Friend. No, there's no way you can find my address. Uh, no. Let's not start this shit. Can. Okay. Get them, lizards. Wait, if I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, if I can share my Instagram, I'm fast. At, yeah, at, yeah. at Silverback Seth. Are Instagram, we doing please. Super Bowl cast? People are asking. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's February 2nd, right? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. got some time. Yeah. We'll I, be here. I, I'm Tom to, won't I want to be involved in this one. The last one was a shit show. Oh, they're all shit. Uh, let, let me come to this one. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, come, come on, on by. Them. Everybody's welcome. I'm not so, doing anything. I don't like football anymore because it reminds right. me of uh, things I could have done. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. I used to throw a football over the mountain. So we'll end with this. Thank you to all the BDMs that continue to support the show. Yes. Thank you to all the sponsors that support the show. We really appreciate it. Um, we're uh, planning some stuff for 2020 with BDMs and stuff. If you want to sign up, just go on our website and uh, you can sign up through there. Um, and all BDMs will get invited to uh, uh, a couple parties, uh, BDM only parties for 2020. So, yes, yeah, sir. Um, if you follow us on Twitch, we appreciate it. Um, also on YouTube, just uh, at Tom and Dan Live, we appreciate that. Yep. Uh, Tom and Dan.com for all things Tom. Tom and Dan, uh, use the app. It's the easiest way, but if you're not into it, uh, Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. Anything else? Yeah. It's, uh, if you get these scratch-offs, uh, go ahead and Facebook Live those. Let us know when you win. Yeah. yeah scratch yeah. them off live. 
Um, and uh, I just really appreciate everybody who's supporting us for uh, this long. So thank yeah, you. you guys are <laughs> for a decade. <laughs> Tim's done already. <laughs> he's out. <laughs> he's out. I guess he's out. He's he's real bad. Yeah. Oh, he's got a pee pee. He's got a pee pee really bad. Oh couch. man, that's like a gallon and a half in there. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, it's like walking a. It's like watching a jet ski walk to the bathroom. <laughs> like, I, mean, I can feel the. I can feel the gasoline shaking back and forth in the tank. <laughs> like, okay, uh, all right. Uh, I'm embarrassed of myself. Mm, uh, see ya. <laughs> Wait a minute. I I can't publish that. It's um uh, mediocre. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from Rivals. Off of their brand new Supernova EP, you heard the song by exactly the same name. And if you're into Paramore or like Tonight Alive, then I think you're really going to like this band. They're on Smart Punk, so go check them out. They're a great little dark pop rock band. Next up was music gifted to me by a BDM listener, but it was by this guy's mom. By the way, we always encourage listeners who have a musical talent or you know somebody that like sings, they're in a band. Like, I love being able to play your stuff. You heard the song Fake by Balake. Thanks for sharing, you guys. You have a cool ass mom. Next up was music from the internationally heralded Run the Jewels. All the way back from their 2013 self-titled, you heard the song A Christmas Fucking Miracle. If you don't have this album, go get it now. It's a fucking classic. We reached out to them years ago and said, hey, can we play some Run the Jewels on our podcast? And they said yes, which is more reason for them to be my pick of the week. We closed everything out with music from Joyce Manor. You heard the song Christmas Card. These guys just keep getting better and better. And on that note, guys, we will see you next week.